Hello, everybody. Good morning. Not morning for all of you. I know I have quite a few people in the UK that it's like afternoon or evening for you guys. But, you know, I'm going on as early as I can so everybody can make it. That would like to. I'm waiting for some people to come in because at this point, there's nobody here. That's okay. You guys know me. I just show up. I'm not sure that this went live properly. I may have to start over. Bug, enough, baby. Bug, bug, quit growing, honey, please. Be sweet. Hi, Jamie. I was starting to think my live didn't go live the way it was supposed to. Thank you. Because it's showing no people. That's weird. How are you doing, honey? I guess I could have done this the simple way, huh? Make sure it went up properly. <laughs> I'm glad that you're doing good, honey, and I'm glad you enjoyed your vacation. That is awesome. Now, I came live today because I had several, surprisingly, several requests to do something about stitching and beading. So, I decided that would be a good idea then. If people want me to do it, I don't mind. Sadly, one of the sweeties that I'm showing in basic stitching for, I think, is at work. So, mm, hopefully he'll see it later on. But I should, who was I going to tell? I don't remember. My brain is so tired, you guys. <laughs> Hello, Glitter Angels. How are you, sweetheart? I'm pretty sure that Jennifer can't watch it because she had a bunch of clients today. Tookie, what are you trying to get to? Chrissy's trying to get into stuff. Alrighty then. That's just kind of how the day is going, folks. Busy. Busy, busy. That's okay. Um... Yeah, a bunch of people are wanting to see the beaded cross-stitch, and I had several requests about basic cross-stitch. So I thought, if it's okay with you all, I would show you some of the ways things come, the basics of stitching, um, and how to understand the patterns, as well as a little beaded cross-stitch. Is that all right with you guys? I hope it is. Awesome. Hi, Tilger. I wish you could see that she's sitting there looking up at me like, what are you talking about, Mom? <laughs> like, really? You're running your mouth at a computer again. She thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm really not, but, you know, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some of the beginner's kits, and then we'll move from there. Now, I have these, hi, Jerry, because a very, very close friend of mine is no longer able to stitch because of her health. So she sent me basically all of her stitching stuff. Um, I don't buy a lot of kits. I buy them if, if they, like, strike my heart, I'll buy them. But I don't tend to buy ones like this. But this is a good place to start. Something tiny like this. 
is really awesome. You can actually stitch it in hand. It's too small for a hoop. So it's a good place to begin. It also, as I'm going to show you, comes with absolutely, absolutely everything. Like it includes a little frame and you don't get that in larger cross stitch kits typically. That is if I can get things out of packages today. <laughs> now what I do usually once I open something is I put them in baggies, Ziploc baggie type things. So this one, however, if it'll come, there we go. It'll get to go back in its original bag. So what's in that baggie without the glare is the image of what this should look like finished. Hi, Orchid. Oh, I loved talking to you, sweetheart. I loved it. And I decided to do this because I got a lot of requests and somebody we know encouraged me that this would be a very good idea to do. Oh, that's awesome, Jamie. It comes with a bundle of thread. It's not tied tightly, so you just undo that. I don't want to do that this time. Hi, Karen. It comes with the piece of Ada in the proper count that you will need. Now, Ada is a specific type of cloth designed for stitching, and you can see why. See the holes in it? It's perfectly even. They are 100% cotton. It's awesome. But that is more than you will need, and you will see for sure that. See how the, big the frame is? They give you access of what the image, whatever you buy, whatever size is, in case of hand oils or fraying or anything like that. Now, there's something out for you. Um, with the fraying, Chrissy, there is a product called Fray Check that you can buy. It's a little bottle of clear liquid, and it's a very thin, very effective glue that you can put around the edge, and it stops all the fraying. Wonderful stuff. It comes with the needle you will need in the proper size. There you go. Oh, sorry, guys. She's trying to eat someone. There's someone at my door. Okay. I don't know. Sorry, you guys. I think it was a landscaper trying to get us to buy services. No, but it could be the repairman. Guys, enough and then some. Please stop. Spirit. No. No, no. Not nice. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. They are so flipping protective. It's not even funny. You have to figure out where I sat that. Oh, okay. It's in front of me. Nah. Brain fart. Okay. And in, on the inside of the frame, somewhere in the packet, you will always find this. And it's a little different depending on what company. And what it gives you is the graph with symbols. Now, this is why they associate diamond painting to cross stitch, because it's the same kind of thing. Instead of diamonds replacing stitches. Okay. And, okay, here we go. This one shows how to stitch. It shows you with arrows and numbers exactly what direction you stitch in. And I think they all come with that. Hi, Lisa. So that is the basics of what comes in any diamond painting kit that also has a frame, not basic. That is something for very tiny kits that you will find. And they're wonderful little things for beginners because it's a whole finished product. In the frame, as you could see, there is cardboard to back your stitching with. So that's really gonna be nice to do when I have time to sit down and do a tiny one from start to finish. So, but I don't have that time at this point. <laughs> I have, I was sent quite a few beginner kits that 
are awesome. I just don't know anybody nearby that is just starting out to stitch. Let's see if I can get this back in. Because that, you know, would be kind of helpful. But you guys know me. Shaky, fumbly fingers. Okay. Yay! It went back in, you guys. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. You're fine. All you missed was me showing the basics of what comes in a kit. That's it. A very beginner's kit. Something simple. That looked to me like it was on 18 count. Now, kits will come as elaborate as this. Okay? Very elaborate. This one is on, I think, a navy blue. I can't see without my glasses, you guys. I'm half blind. Seriously. But it I don't want to open this one up. Um, the Dimensions kits have begun sending their threads out in these organizers, and they're super easy to pull a thread from. Super easy. But it has absolutely everything in you, there that you need to stitch a kit. Always. These kits come with everything you need. They just don't usually come with little frames. Now, the one I'm going to show you of oh, basic stitching on is this. My son gave me this for Christmas. And it's a beautiful orchid painting or image with scroll work. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this piece. And what I do with my pattern, okay? Yeah, this one had the instructions on the inside, which is helpful for beginners. This one would not be a bad beginner kit at all, but there is a lot of confetti in this. And so what I do is as I finish the stitch, I highlight it. Now, the reason this has different color highlighters on it is I was tracking how many days it was taking me to do things. So each color represented what I did in one day because I have a lot of different highlighters. So that is that. I have it in a basic hoop. You can see this and you just put your piece over the bottom piece, put the top piece on, screw it shut and just kind of Manipulate your fabric a little bit to get it nice and tight. Hi, Shawana. So that's what we do there. This is a more advanced kit. It even has a very expensive thread in it. And it's really gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. If Jill stitched, she'd want to steal this one. And I'd send it to her. This is a gold collection kit. This is more of an advanced stitcher's kit. Seriously. You could do it as a beginner, but it's going to be a little more confusing. Now, here's another type of hoop. This is better for people with arthritis and such because you just squeeze it shut and pull it out. Slip your fabric over the, the metal bar. Well, I slip it over the plastic and then I use the metal piece to get it in place properly. And that provides tension to keep the fabric straight. If you can get the dog on thing in there, which today I apparently cannot. <laughs> Another option are these. Now, there. this is, I think, one of, like, the Michaels brand or Joann's brand type thing. It could be a name brand Q-Snap. It is. It's a name brand one. Um, it comes in a kit where these. The, what's forming the square comes apart. It's like a really heavy-duty PVC. And these are why they call it Q-Snap. These little pieces snap over all four sides. To put it in place, and when you need to add tension, you just twist them. They're awesome. I have one of my Heaven and Earth designs in one, as you can see. And it's a huge piece of fabric, so I have it all bound up in here. This is called a grime guard, and you can find them all over the internet. It's a, just a piece of fabric with two pieces of elastic. But it, it's suited to fit whatever that size Q-snap is. And you can use it on a hoop, too. I've done that in the past. And in a minute, I will be announcing something to you in conjunction with this and our diamond painting. I've gotten asked a lot about heaven and earth designs. This was my first paid. And no, it's not done. Remember I told you guys I have a white wolf issue. 
I seriously do. It was a gift from my oldest daughter and her husband for my birthday last year. These are very extensive. You can see every page in there is either a key or pattern pages. Yeah, I like the grind guards. I do. Um, mine were gifts from stitching people. Now, this haid is pretty extensively done. What I did was I made photocopies, and you can order them in PDF patterns and just print them out, and they're less expensive that way. I wanted a paper copy because I don't have a copier or a printer. So you can see I mark off as I go. On this one, it was day by day also because I was wondering where my progress was at. And I personally take and write my symbols at the top of my copies or my, you know, so that I can just look and there's my legend right there, my schematic. Makes my life a lot easier. This one is stitched on one that you pretty much have to have perfect eyesight for, and I don't, so thankfully I have a magnifier now. This is a 28 count even weave. Awesome stuff. Love it. Some of my threads are bobbinated in this. I usually just work from the skeins, but I will show you the beginning of that hade. Now, I use a special kind of removable fabric marker to grid my 10 by 10 squares, so it's easier for me to count. Hi, Susan. And this was just, I know it's going to be out of the frame, so I did a test stitch for how many threads I wanted in it, because you can do them with one, you can do them with two. Well, it only goes into a lot of Mando when you are getting into really extensive stuff. I advise you get a small kit and start that way. But pick an image you really love, because if it's not something you really love, you won't want to finish it. You just won't. But DMC threads, for those who do not know, come in skeins like this. And there are six strands of thread in each piece of DMC. Typically, you use one, two, or three strands, depending on the size of your fabric. The kits always come with those pre-cut and they give you the advice of do not work with a piece that is more than 18 inches long. I don't adhere to that, but for, for beginners, I seriously suggest that you do. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. And see, I keep them in Ziploc baggies as I go because I want them kept away from dust and of course, hair. Because, you know, there's never any puppy hair in my house. No, there wouldn't be. These are the bobbins. Let's see if I can get it where so you can see it. You just wind your thread around them if you prefer to work that way rather than just from the skeins. These are super helpful. These came from my friend. And here's a bag full of DMC colors. I think I have almost every color in the DMC rainbow because I also have like three bags of it that I already had. This is where we get into the more. You need scissors, guys. You do. There are so many types of scissors and cutters. For those who don't like scissors because you don't want to jam them into your foot like you do tweezers, there are these. They are secure cutting blades, and they come in different shapes, colors, sizes. They're pretty cheap, usually a couple of bucks. You can order them online. You can get them in any craft store. These are embroidery scissors. The cranes, I think, or stork. I'm not sure which bird it's meant to be. I think everybody that stitches owns at least one pair of those. And let me see my favorite. if my favorite ones are in here. This is a wonderful caddy that I had bought like a lifetime ago, literally. No, my favorite scissors are not in there. Um, but another option is cuticle scissors. They're wonderful because the curvature allows you to get right up against the fabric without cutting the fabric itself. These are one of my favorites. Hi, Debbie. My very, very favorites. I don't know where I put them. I haven't stitched in a few months. Sorry, guys. This you can buy at pretty much any craft store. I know you can order it online. It is a DMC product, as you can see. 
It comes with this pin or needle cushion that Velcros right on if you're not pushing needles through the wrong side, like apparently I did at some point. There we go. Okay. Then it just Velcros right on place. It's got a big pocket there. It's got a big pocket here with two small pockets on the front. And this piece is what I love. This will hold your scissors. So you can find them easily. And then I have a few extras in my kits, of course. Because, you know, 40 plus years of... Oh, there's my favorite scissors. See, I put them where I would find them. These are my favorite ones. My daughter got these for me. And they are the sharpest little scissors I've ever seen. These came from Hobby Lobby. And they're a color-changing metal that are purple and teal. So, of course, I'm going to love them, right? But they are super, super sharp. I would be very careful with them. And then I keep something extra with my stitching. I always keep a highlighter or a pen and candy. Candy, you all. Because <laughs> you're sitting there stitching and I sometimes forget to eat because I'm crazy. <laughs> Susan, we're going to show the beaded cross stitch in a minute. Mine is not what you see on most channels. I ordered it off of Amazon, and so it's a thick, dense fabric, but it's really nice. Oh, my goodness, was Doc Healing with Diamonds dead on. It's a beautiful kit. It's got the most awesome beads you could imagine. This kit, the Orchid, works with two strands at a time. And if you guys would like, we can. I can do a video on how to cross stitch instead of trying to show you here. Because otherwise this is going to be another marathon and I really am not up to a marathon today. But I wanted to show you some of the basic tools that go into cross stitch. And my sweet friend that sent me the box full of stuff just messaged me letting me know she is watching. And I love you, baby. In fact, I love you, all of you that are there because I know there are quite a few friends there. Okay, let's set that there. But those are, I also have a frame and a floor stand because if you're really, really into stitching, you end up accruing these things <laughs> over the years. You really do. Um, but all you really need is a hoop, a kit, and you're good. Oh, that's awesome, Rajul. Hi, sweetheart. It's just really simple. And the stitches are, you're forming an X. Okay, Orchid. See, Rachel, we have so much in common, girl. So much in common. I also knit. And when I need to, I crochet because it's a sister art. But it's the first yarn art that I learned. The first fiber art. Cross stitching was next. Then came quilting and knitting. And now the diamond painting. And there have been non fiber related art forms in between. Now, if you're like me and you're half blind, you're gonna need reading glasses or a magnifier because I'm about half blind. But your kits will come with instructions on how to do your basic stitch. Just follow the numbers. It's super, super easy. And like I said, I can at some point, if you guys would like show a video on the basic, how to thread your needle, how to do a basic cross stitch and a half stitch. I'm not showing French knots because those are really complicated. My favorite thing to use with my stitching other than my frames, oops, you know, good scissors, that kind of thing, are needle minders. All of us have cover minders, right? Awesome, Rajul. We all have cover minders. Athena, hi, gorgeous. I did a test yesterday because at first, Karen was a little concerned, were they going to be too thick to work as needle minders? Also, the cover minders work beautifully. Beautifully. Not a problem at all. Okay. So, out comes this kit. Were there goodies in it, Athena? Now comes the beaded kit. So I wanted to show you guys that 
her cover minders work perfectly as needle minders. And I do mean perfectly. This is one of my little foxes from Karen Doss because I love Karen stuff. I do. I'm addicted. It's true. And I've already got a bead in place on this. Okay, Amanda. So what I'm going to do is pull that through and show you all. Oh, I'm sorry, Athena. This works great. Great place to rest your needle. Great place. Now, if you're going to put it away overnight, I advise you tuck it behind the cover minder directly onto the magnet. Just because it's a little stronger. That's all. Because it's metal, metal contact. So, but they do. They hold your needle great. They're awesome. And I'm going to show you my setup for beaded cross stitch. Because I'm actually using some of my diamond painting stuff for it. And I thought that would be amazing to show you guys that we can absolutely use stuff that we think, oh, we're just going to throw it away. We don't have to. We could do multi-trays, anything we wanted. Now, I have this very, very, very broken old lap stand, or not lap stand, um, tray, you know, lap tray. Because when my back goes out or I get pneumonia, I am stuck in bed. Well, hello, hubby. How are you, honey? Please pet the furries for me, Athena. And I use this to work on my beaded cross stitch or my cross stitch when I'm in bed. The piece, that extra piece that you saw from DMC the, that has this, the pockets on it, I use on my recliner. Hi, Marissa. Hello, beautiful. Now, the hinges on this are broken, and I did have just the lamp magnifier clipped to it, but I decided we're going to try it in its stand. Because remember I told you this thing comes with this heavy, heavy stand that could be used as a weapon. And I wanted to show you guys how well the charge keeps on this thing. I'm shocked. I've been using it for three days, hours on end. Um, it's still charged. $19.99 on Amazon, guys. Seriously. And it's got a daylight stimulating LED in it. So awesome. Before we go any further, our beautiful Karen Doss. Karen, please put the link to your store in there. She is having a really good sale today, you guys. So I, I want to make sure I get the details of this sale correct. Okay? Because it's something, she's selling something I freaking want. Two things, but I don't have the money to buy them right now. I gotta wait till the first. Okay. Did I find my glasses or did I bury them? I probably buried them, didn't I, you guys? <laughs> I swear. All right. She says she is Doing another sale, you guys. She's continuing the sale on the cover minders. And she has some extra pens for $10. Her paracord pens, these new ones, that thing that she has come up with, which look amazing. I can't wait to get one. Are priced at a special price. $15 each or two for $25. Now, if you want awareness colors with a bracelet and matching keychain, it is how much, Karen, for that set? Because she will do awareness colors. Hi, Trish. $30 for the set, the keychain, the bracelet, and the pen, all made of paracord, which by the way, here's an awesome thing y'all might not know about paracord if you're not military or outdoorsy. It has the strongest tinsel strength of any fiber that we know. And if you were out somewhere and needed survival tools to cut branches, cut, you know, whatever you needed or tie something up that's not going to fall down, you can pull a strand of that paracord out in an emergency and use it. And your chances of breaking it are pretty much nil. So that stuff is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yep, and I have seen the videos. There are a few people that got them and absolutely love those pens. I can't wait. I want purple and teal. She knows me. That's my thing. <laughs> I 
Okay. So let's go where I can see chat and you guys can see a little more about this. I really want it in that corner, but I'm going to move it for the moment. As long as I don't turn the light on and blind you all again. Okay, so this is the beaded cross stitch that we got. And I say we because this is a group and family effort. Oh, Karen, that sounds gorgeous. There, Trish, that's perfect. I hadn't even thought of that. Hi, Nicole. I hadn't even thought of that. Yes, you can. It, the tensile strength on it, which means the ability to break it, is phenomenal. So not only can you diamond paint with it and have comfort and softness in your hand, you also have an emergency tool. Because sadly, I can honestly say that I have a diamond painting pen in my purse. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, I do not want to pull that thread out of the needle. It is so hard to see. So for those of you who didn't see, in my kit came this amazing fabric. Oh, let me show this first. Awesome. This is one of the keychains made out of purple and teal. Urgh. I need that. I need that color combination so bad. That is my thing. Seriously, you guys, that's my colors. Love them. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I know that paracord is very soft to the touch. I mean, it's not like silk or something, but it's very soft. So that's a good thing. Oh, wonderful, Athena. Oops. Just turning that off. And there's another message. Oh, there we go. And there's the side view of how she's doing it. It worked like a knit stitch. That's absolutely sturdy. That I can tell you because I've been doing it a long time. The size she did was huge. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have a sense of humor again today. That's a good thing. Okay. Get the chat back up. Okay, now, <sighs> why did I do that? I pulled it off. I told you when I yanked on it, something was going to go wrong because it got caught on my finger. All right, so the type that I got did not have little holes in it. Instead, it has little dots where you need to put your needle in. The bottom row, all the outside rows are going to be the hardest because there's no dot on the outside row. So beautiful image. It is a partial. The sky and water are not beaded. So that's perfect because it's not going to overwhelm me to start. Let me see if I can find my freaking glasses. You guys, that would be such a help, wouldn't it? But I'll use my old prescription glasses if I can. Let's see if it works. These just aren't quite strong enough anymore. Okay. So here's what I'm doing that I said involves our diamond painting stuff. Guys, awesome way to use the two billion trays that we all have for the beads. And they work really nicely for it. Because you're working different colors based on what the color on the beaded area is. And in this case, I believe we needed number six, which is like this root beer color. And not a, what's the word I'm looking for today? Guys, help me. Non-shiny. Um, uh, frosted. <laughs> Thank you, my brain is tired. These do not have DMC colors. I don't know of any beads that do. But that's okay. And this does absolutely use, I said it in the opening, that I thought this was Nymo thread. It is. Yes, Matt. Thank you, Marissa. My brain is tired. <laughs> This is a Nymo thread, which is the strongest beading thread there is. Um, it works even better than when they give the kits the fishing line stuff because this does not stretch. So it's absolutely perfect for it. It came with three types of beads. The matte, a single color that is pearlescent, and the pretty shiny beads. These are Percosa beads. 
They are the most uniform, high quality beads that I've ever dealt with. And I've done a lot of cross stitches that have beading on them. That's what we call beaded cross stitch. This to us is a beaded image, basically. So what I've been doing, my little green trays. Oh no, Amanda, I hope everything's okay, sweetie. Is I've been putting a few beads into my tray. And you don't even have to shake them in this. <laughs> in fact, I think they go flying. Let's see. Oh, you can. That's cool. Let me make sure I've got the right color. Yes, I do. Okay. Should this be in a frame? Probably. Is that how it's going to get done? No. I stitch in hand a lot anyway. And you can see there are some beads already on there. I got part of the first row done. And that area has got one, two, three, four colors on it so far. So what I'm doing is I'm, I have threaded a single strand, because that's what you want to do with beading, of this Nymo thread onto my needle. Like I said, I use a crazy length. This requires a knot in the back, which threw me for a loop because in cross stitching, you don't do knots. So what I'm doing is I'm using the tip of the needle to pick up a bead and I'm using my nail to keep it on there till I pull it back onto the thread, which it is now past the needle. Let me get this where you can see it. See, it's past the needle onto the thread. There we go. You don't have to pull it down. It will naturally pull down on its own. Don't you dare. Now, there is a teeny tiny little dot right there and then the bottom of the image. Throughout the rest of it, there are dots on all the corners to use. You can do the stab method, which is to go in and then push it back up from behind. That doesn't work very well for me because then I don't get it even. So what I'm doing, I will show you as soon as I get it in place. Because this is how I cross stitch too. I'm a little crazy. All right. Now, that bead's not going anywhere. I put it down through the top, up through the bottom. So it's actually going straight down. And then when you move over, it causes the bead to lay at the right angle. Just make sure that all of your beads are facing the same direction. So you always stitch in the same direction one way, and you're gonna go back the other direction in the next row. Oh, cool, Jamie. Very cool. And then when you pull it through, okay, I'm gonna pull the needle all the way through. It just gently tug a bit and that bead will almost every time lay exactly where you want it to lay. That is honestly all there is to the basic of beaded cross stitch. Um, a lot of them have holes in them already and that's gonna be the easier ones, but you never know which ones they are based on you know, the website when you go to look at it. This company, from what I understand, almost always does them this way. Oh, nice, Marissa. Very, very nice. I can't wait to see you start on that. I can't wait. That image is so cool. But please let me know if you need some of the lighter colored uh, diamonds at some point. See how it works up. If it doesn't come out the way you want, let us know and we will get you the right colors. When you go to end it, which I'm nowhere near, I'm sure I'll, you guys will see that on another video. Um, there's a tiny knot here where I started it. It's basically going to be ended the same way. Knowing me, I will just run my needle behind these stitches and tie it and cut it there. Um, because I like to avoid knots as much as I can because it helps it lay flat, flat in the frame. But that is pretty much beaded cross stitch, you guys. And you just go by the color on your canvas or fabric, depending on which kind you get. 
and you place them where they belong. And you, oh, you have a key up here, just like you do in cross stitch, just like you do in diamond painting, but it's colors, not symbols. So you just go by what the color is to match it. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Marissa, is that I would wait to see how it works up personally, because it may come out perfect for contrast. You just never know. I only had one thing that I had to change in a diamond painting, but I knew I was going to need to ahead of time because of the way the photograph had caused that creepy eye on Snowy and Frosty. So I already knew I was going to have to fix that. They did as much as they could with it, but they couldn't get it to where it looked like their eyes without darkening the image too much. Um, it does come with a chart. For some reason, mine had a chart that is similar, but it does not match. So I have sent a message to the seller to see about getting the proper chart. But yes, they do come with a black and white chart that has symbols. I don't know if all of them come with that, but this company does. So I'm trying to find out if that was just a mishap or if they were just sending me an extra pattern which would be silly since I don't know what colors go on it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to look up what store that was for you on Amazon so that you can check them out. I really think very highly of this. It's a very, very thick fabric. And it seems to be very anti-wrinkle. It's not wrinkle proof. Nothing is. But it seems to be very good at avoiding the wrinkle problem. Oh, the other thing these miters are good for, your scissors when they're laying flat. You know, it's not going to hold them well like that because they're too heavy. But it's good for when you're setting them down so you know where they are. I just usually put mine to the side or in that bag. Oh, come up. There we go. Let's get you the name of the seller for this. Oh, super easy. Yes, you do, butt lazy. I have been an avid stitcher for a very, very, very long time, honey. Probably much longer than you have been alive. <laughs> but that's because I'm old. Sorry, guys, I'm typing one-handed. You know, hunt and peck. Now, it literally, I got same-day delivery. But that is only on purchases of $35 or more for qualifying products. I had to buy something worth $2.10 to supplement it, so I bought a small box of Slim Jim sausages for the puppies. But this is definitely a prime item. And there you guys go. There's the store name on Amazon for you. This kit was $32.90, which that gave me a heart attack. But I have to say for the quality of the kit, yeah, they're not overcharging. They're really not. And I was very, very pleased. There is one on AliExpress that I would eventually like, and I'm sure you all know the subject matter. That's a given. But there's one more from this company that I want also. And I have looked at these for a very long time, pretty much since they hit the market. But I just was not able to get one, basically. And a very sweet viewer decided that I needed to add something to the channel. So that was how this came about. And you just keep going, you know, until you're done. Now, I work all the way across and then all the way back. When my thread is pretty close to ending, I'm going to weave it underneath uh, existing stitches like I've always done with stitching. Oh, no, Athena, I'm so, so Oh, my goodness. Girl, I'm not good at that kind of thing because of my health. I have been getting asked about the doctor thing. 
the doctor that they initially assigned me could not get me in until September 23rd. And I went, oh, Lord. And because of the fall, they seriously advised that I choose a different position that could get me in sooner. Even at that, because of school starting and all the physicals and all of that, shots and crap like that for kids, um, they can't get me in until August 23rd. But I do have an appointment the afternoon of August 23rd. Nice butt lazy. Hello, Miss Jennifer. And I will be at that appointment. And hopefully they will get everything for my health situated as quickly as possible. So, at least I'm praying so. Because I really do need that to get fixed as quickly as we can. Well, they're killing flies, scaring Ladybug again. I may have to get her dressed real quick, guys. Oh, fun stuff, Jennifer. All you really missed, honey, was me showing the basics of what comes in cross-stitch kits, what kind of accessories, you know, are out there that I think are good, and the basics of doing a beaded cross-stitch. Oh, but Lizzie, I didn't even know, honey. I'm sorry. It's been a busy morning, and you're on a very different time zone than I am. And YouTube did not send me a notification. Okay, guys, I have to stop for a minute because Bug is shaking. They're killing flies, and any loud noises can cause her to have a seizure, which is exactly why my very dear friend Lisa Swan sent this to our house for the 4th of July, and it comes in handy for anything like this. So I'm going to move this for a moment and see if Buggy will come here and let me get her dressed. Because she's so good about it. I have to put this in the dryer to get some of the puppy fur off of it. Because when they get nervous, they will shed. All right. This contraption looks confusing, but it's not. It's not. Come here, Buck Buck. Buggy, come on, let's get dressed, baby. Come on. There's the little parts that go around her neck. Let me get where I can work on her. Because, guys, sorry, she comes... These puppies come way before anything from my channel. They just do. They are my lifeline. Okay, good girl. Come on. I know. It's scaring you, huh, baby? But you don't want it tight around the neck. If you do get a, have an animal and you need a thunder shirt for your animal, she usually just stands right up, but she's shaking pretty bad, you guys. Okay, buggy. Okay. Okay. And then this just secures it around their body, going under the belly. And then the top piece tightens it down, is what it is. And you don't want it too tight, because you, you can absolutely constrict their breathing and stomach, and it's just bad. So there we go. Here we go, honey. Yeah, it's my bug a bug. Or it's a good girl. Good girl. Okay. This is what loud noises do to her. It's okay. I don't want her to have a seizure, you guys. And that's what would happen if she's too frightened. I tighten it up a little bit, Bug Bug. Just a little. It's not tight enough to help. Here we go. And it's still loose enough that I can get my fingers in everywhere. Yeah, that's what I do. Everybody says give you some love, make you feel better. I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you can see Chrissy moved in here behind her to keep her feeling safe. Nick's having a blast killing flies. He's scaring the crap out of Bug Bug. And he'll feel like crap if she does have a seizure, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen. My poor baby. Hi, Allie. Sorry, my buggy's scared at the moment, so I had to get her dressed. I really didn't think these shirts could work. They really work. They really, really work. She's still shaky, you know, if she has to wear it, but she does so much better. So, so much better. I 
and you're such a good little alpha. Yes, you, look at the tiny protecting her. You can see she's frightened. Loud noises do that with her. Sadly, that's exactly what happens. And now he's trying to caterwaul. He sounds like someone stepped on his tail. <laughs> he's just trying to protect us by keeping flies, you know, at bay. But he, he just doesn't really acknowledge how bad it is on her. Yes, you're such a good girl, Christy. How about if we take and go out for a smoke and let them move around? Maybe that will help her calm down and then we can come back and do some more feeding. Whoa. Okay, I did secure the beads. I was afraid I didn't. Well, they do help a lot, Trish, but whenever it's humid, we get more flies. Ugh. And because our back door is broken, we can't close the door easily. And there goes another big loud bang to scare my baby bug. I'm going to go kick my son's butt. And I could use some more coffee anyway. Okay, I'm going to take you guys for a ride. I hope I don't make anybody motion sick when I do this. That's why I stay in frame so that I'm not making you guys nauseous. Okay. I really wish you'd warn me before you do that. I didn't see it coming and bugs start freaking out. I'll warn you. I might warn them. Oh, bull. Nick, will you open this silly thing for me since I can't? So she is in her shirt. Thank you. Ha! We just fit through the door right side up. Ooh, come on over. I always have coffee on. Awesome, butt lazy. Okay. All right. Let's put you where you all can see. Oh, Trish, how come you're not having a good day, sweetie? Are you going to be okay? There's a Chrissy Tiny. Obviously, Buggy doesn't want to come out of the room. And that's okay. I left the door open in case she wants to. What are you stitching on, Butt Lazy? Oh, Trish, honey, I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. I hate when stuff like that flares up. Yesterday was one of those days for me. Oh, that sounds beautiful, but lazy. Yeah, nobody wants to know me without coffee. None of you. When my coffee pot was trying to commit suicide, um, thank God that Ashley decided to send a new one to me because, hmm. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Is it a heaven and earth design? Who, who is it by? I didn't steal it. Oh, Athena, we're not going to tell you the measurements of my haze. Because <laughs> you'll go, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, you got it from Wish. Okay. Is it full coverage, honey? Or is it? Normal cross stitching. <gasps> awesome. Can't wait, Allie. I cannot wait. I hope it came in good condition, sweetie. Full coverage. Awesome. It's my favorite kind of stitching. Sorry, it just is because you can't, don't get dirt showing on the fabric or anything like that. And I've only done a little bit of stitching on linen because I have trouble seeing it. Although I have some beautiful antique Irish linen. Nice. Yeah, that's my problem, Athena. Little ones are like, done. 
Same with cross stitch. I just finish them too fast unless I take breaks. And I have quite a few hate patterns. One of them has got to be turned into a diamond painting if I can ever get the money to get the blank canvas in the right size and all of the colors it needs because anybody who looks at Hades knows they are max color. They are, you know, oh my goodness, numbers of colors. They make diamond paintings look bland. Hello, Tinkerbell. How are you, sweetie? Your drawings are, oh my God, amazing, stunning. How people can do the heaven and earth designs, honey, or the conversion to diamond painting. Because it works exactly the same way stitching would without the stitches. Oh, yeah. Is it... Uh, Four kids at 147, I think it is. Oh, I so want to do it. So, 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 so want to do it. If I can ever get the money together, I'm there. I'm so there. I wish I could get it together by Halloween to start this one because it's a, a sleepy hollow image. So it's Halloween-y. The beaded one or I have an earth design or what do you mean but lazy? Because there's like a billion cross stitches out there. And a lot of sites for free patterns, you guys. A lot of sites for free patterns. To do something like the, like the Hades, you need your pattern, your fabric. So you choose what count you want. The bigger the number, the smaller the count, which means more stitches per inch. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Your scissors and your DMC threads. And I would advise a hoop or a stand. You can stitch in hand, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I can look inside on my, uh, it's called Spirit Wolf. Um, the hate that I showed you and tell you how many colors are in it because it's crazy. It's huge. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know which ones Athena is using, but Athena, if you can think of the names of some of the sites for free cross stitch, please feel free to put them in the chat. I have to snoop, snoop in my phone to find them because that's where I have them. But all you have to do is look up free cross stitch on Google or free cross stitch patterns is better. Oh my God, it will come up with a ton of them. Hade has a free design every once in a while. Um, but they're not like their regular Hades. They're not as extensive or huge. They have one more design that I want one and it's because it looks like snowy it it could have been a painting of snowy my goodness it's so beautiful and it's actually a mini hate so that one i should be able to do in like six months if i do nothing but stitch see there you go pinterest yeah pinterest is a good place um for small designs cute little halloween designs oh my goodness lots of stuff um, God, what is the name of that one site? I can't think of it because it's been like 10, 11 months since I've been on there. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to do is convert a couple, especially one of my heaven and earth designs to a diamond painting. And I paid for the pattern, so I have every right because I'm not going to have it done as a custom. I'm going to do it as a counted piece so that I'm not messing with copyright issues. I don't want to do that to anybody. 
And I like a challenge because I'm crazy. You guys already know I love the huge diamond paintings. I'm just as bad with my cross stitch. I'm just as bad. Tinkerbell, there is a beautiful... Uh, Oh, there you go. Pick to pat. That's what I was trying to think of. You could do put any image in pick to pat and it'll convert it for you. And that's a free program. Um, there's, there's a lot of sites, but if you just look up free cross stitch on Google, it will come up with tons of them that you can find. You're going to spend hours looking through them. There are so many. Just like Ravelry has free knitting and, and, uh, no, I haven't because my back has been so bad. I can't sit up to diamond paint right now. Anyway, Ravelry has free crochet and knit patterns on it. And I really love the site. Right, Shawana? But you are gorgeous, honey. It just means I can't sit up to diamond paint. I have to be able to do something that I can lean my back against the pillows and relax it until I can get to a doctor. But that's not until a week from Friday. So at least I have an appointment and Michelle can quit threatening me. She did a loving thread at me, but mm. she's going to kick my butt if I don't go. So I don't dare. Mm -mm. She'll run me over. <laughs> <coughs> oh, but lazy. I'm so sorry. I, I am just not a color blocking person in any way, shape or form. I am truly, truly, truly a confetti nut. I, I love everything confetti. Otherwise, I get bored. When I was a kid, they used to say that people who are easily bored or generally have a high IQ. I do have a high IQ, but I don't think that that really has anything to do with it. Hi, Karen. Uh, yes, as of last night, she was doing pretty well. She has a lot of decisions to make, and no, she has not told me what they are, and I think it's because she doesn't want me to worry. But pretty much, are you Trish? <laughs> pretty much every single night, I, the reason I stop talking to others of you is because I'm on video chat with her, and she, that's the highlight of my day, other than cute puppy stuff. I so look forward to my talks with her every day. That's my calming point. It really is. Oh, what I started to say, I have a gorgeous winter scene coming that is a gift from a friend. Um, and it's the new Diamond Art Club Chuck Pinson winter scene. What shocked me about it is it's a round. I thought all of his were square. That one is not. Yes, you did, lady. She's quick at kidding. She's so quick. It is stunning, and it will give me a piece of winter in my home because I love snow. I love snow. It doesn't like me physically, but I love snow. I would bet she's lurking. She does that a lot, especially if she's at dialysis and she's bored. So I would bet she's lurking. But Lazy, get you some of the little beginner kits. They're great for that because there's a ton of color blocking in those. You're lurking and working? Awesome, Lady. Are you, when are you starting the snow scene? You are a highlight, beautiful. I get almost daily messages checking on me from Jennifer. She's such a cutie. Okay. 
Well, wait till mine arrives so I can do it with you. <laughs> Hello, Denise. Oh, I know you are. You're like me, multiple projects going all the time. Hi, Rosette. Oh, I love doing stuff like that, Tinkerbell. I've always wanted to do a Christmas stocking kit, and I've never gotten to get one. Aw, you're close on the spelling of her name. It's C-R-Y-S-S-I-E, because her name is actually Crystalline Winter. Well, if they have good quality beads like this one, it's a partial, but it's mostly beaded. Um, I have to tell you, the quality of the Percosa beads is phenomenal. Um, I had used them years before when I did beaded jewelry and things like that. And if you can order it from Amazon, I don't know if you can where you are. I strongly advise it. Strongly advise to go with their kits. The fabric they're doing it on is amazing. But it is more advanced because it doesn't have holes already in it. It is absolutely more advanced. It's too hot. <laughs> it is, I promise, Rosette. They are doing pretty darn well. Um, can you give me a couple minutes, Denise, and I will sing for you since you asked. No, this one is a solid fabric. It's got little dots where you need to put your needle in. It's, oh, Tinkerbell, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous of the weather. Uh, um, so it is a more advanced kit, but the bead quality and the canvas quality and printing quality are top notch. Top notch. Customer service has been excellent. Um, I'm waiting to hear the final result on that black and white pattern. I think they just put the wrong one in there because they looked at it and went, oh, it's the same, not realizing it had a very different number of colors. Oh, poor Rosette. Yeah, she did one not from the same company. Hers are from the Ukraine and they already have holes in them. Yeah, I think that's pretty close to where we're at, Denise. Uh, I'll check when we go in. Yep, and she's a diamond painter, so she's sparkly. Oh, Denise, it's so, so relaxing. But I'm a well over 40-year-long cross-stitcher. So, but I love them. I love it. This is my first beaded one that's, you know, that's fully beaded, not cross stitches. But it's really been calming. Where are you at, Rosette? I have never asked you that. I assumed incorrectly, obviously, that you were in the U.S., I have been cross-stitching since 1978, just before my eighth birthday. So since I was seven years old, 42 years. My grandma taught me. She was one of the most amazing embroiderers I have ever seen. Oh, so you are in the US. Okay, I thought you were, honey. I just wasn't sure. I thought I assumed incorrectly. You have an allergy to the sun, Athena. That's a legitimate allergy. You need to be very careful, please. They are pretty high, but I was very blessed that somebody else wanted me to be able to add something to my channel and they funded it without giving me a chance to say no, because I would have said no. Uh, let you see what in videos, Tinkerbell. I'm confused. Please be very careful. It was, I was shocked. I 
I'm guessing they heard me mention that I would eventually like to try one. And I absolutely love it. It's, I wasn't even going to bring it on the channel and a few very, very good friends encouraged me heavily to add it to the channel. The beginning of this live stream was a basic of what you need for cross stitch, what comes in a kit. I will do a video on the basic of stitching because although the instructions are very clear in 99% of kits, in a lot of countries over in the UK, it's very hard to get those kits. But you guys, from what I understand, have easy access to DMC threads, nice fabrics. So I will show you how to take something like that and do your stitching. Hi, Soulful. I wasn't going to because I have another channel that is stitching. But my diamond painting friends are wanting to know. And there's no way that I would discourage somebody from something that if you're stuck inside, if you're ill, you can lay in bed and do this. And we already understand these patterns because they look identical except they're not pre-colored usually. The pre-colored ones to me are harder. Um, they're, they're set up the same way, the same symbols, read the same way as a diamond painting. That's why they associate it to cross stitch. I love stitching. It is my first crafty love. My second crafty love is my knitting and diamond painting equally. But I think diamond painting is starting to really win out over everything except the stitching. During the winter, I do a lot of knitting and stitching. That's kind of what people were telling me is that a lot of my viewers would like to see the beaded cross stitch. And then I got several personal requests last night to do a basic cross stitch how to. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do tomorrow. There's my bug bug. She decided the banging stopped so it was safe. I did the beginning of this video about lazy, what, of this live stream was the basics on what comes in a kit. A little extra that you can buy that are phenomenal. Oh, I love Fair Isle Knitting. That's my very, very favorite. Very favorite. I just can't afford the really nice yarns to do it with right now. The only reason I don't rosette is very simple. My husband does not know about this channel. This is my safe place that I can actually talk and not have somebody yelling at me for anything I say. So I don't want him finding out about this channel at this point. but eventually I will link them together. I can tell you guys what the channel name is. I just don't want him knowing about my diamond painting or my diamond painting channel because I don't, I need something that's mine. Someplace I feel completely safe and that's here. This channel is where I feel safe. I feel support, I feel love. And you guys get me through a lot of the clinical depression and anxiety disorder. Yeah, I know. Exactly what I'm doing, Rosette. Until I can be completely stable financially and know that I never have to go back and deal with him, that's what I'm doing. It's a safety precaution. That's why I don't use my real name in here because he could locate me that way. I love you too, honey. Yesterday was not an easy day for me. I had a really rough day emotionally and mentally, and that's why you guys didn't see anything from me. I was not in a frame of mind that was positive, and I did not in any way, shape, or form want to bring negative to you guys. So that's why you didn't see me. Okay, I'm going to put my other channel name in here. Just please, if you're on there, I have not made a video on there since the beginning of this year. Please keep in mind, do not mention this channel on there at all. 
that is for safety for me. Okay, that is the name of my other channel. Right? <laughs> Rosette, you got it. Oh, but Lazy, thank you. I'm happy to be your extra grandma baby. I have adopted grandchildren that are close to your age. They're not legally adopted. They're friends of the family's kids, and they call me Nana. Hi, bug -a bug -a bug Kind of, sort of. Um, I tried to do the beaded cross stitch. I got a whole 16 beads on because of the stress levels. And, oh, thank you. That's my real name. So, um, but I had puppies climbing all over me all day trying to calm me down. That's part of what they do. And so I was very, very grateful for my babies. And I had some very sweet friends that were keeping me talking and as calm as they possibly could. Well, honey, I live really far away too, but you can always message me. Always. Well, except from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. my time, because I do not turn my phone on during those hours. Trish, I didn't want to put that on anyone else. I was just, mm, it was not good. Jennifer checked on me. Um, Karen from Karen's Creations checked on me. Karen Doss checked on me. Uh, there were a couple other people. Queenie checked on me. I had a lot of very, and Michelle, of course, sat on the phone with me while I vented and got stuff out of my system so that I could calm down before bed. But I had a rough night last night. Aw. Oh, okay, I'm gonna close this up because we don't need more flies. Mm. I can't wait till they fix that dog on door. It takes every ounce of my strength to close and open it. Oh, that's awesome, Soulful. You guys are very good friends to me. And there are quite a few of you that I talk to personally. Because I trust you so much. You're right, Tinkerbell. We are all very blessed. Oh, thank you, Karen. I just was so grateful to have friends that, that cared enough to let me vent and deal with what was in my head. And it was tough. It, it, it was a tough, tough day. But if this doctor that I'm going to see does what I am truly praying will happen and puts me back on my Paxil and my Xanax for the anxiety attacks and sleep and some medication for my back and fibro, Within a few weeks, we should be all good, and the depression will be 99% under control. Oops, I forgot my coffee. Hold on, you guys. I don't want to drag you around again. Sorry, you all. If I miss my coffee, it's not good. Because then I'm just eh, grumpy. <laughs> yeah, got to have the coffee. That's my thing. No, I'm not. That's the thing. I've been without medical care for quite a long time now. Okay, to my lurking sweetheart. Everybody that is in here right now is really good. You're fine. So if you want to say hi, that's okay. Oh, thank you, Denise. I Prayers mean a lot to me. Yes, I have, Karen. <laughs> I absolutely have. I've absolutely gotten curling iron stuck in my hair.
<laughs> Pinky Stickers just went and looked at my Victoria's Moon unboxing. And she goes, you're absolutely right. It's huge. Oh, I don't straighten my hair. I use a blow dryer and brush for that. Oh, no. Ooh, that sounds good. I, I'm a black coffee drinker, but my favorite coffee is from Sprouts. It's called Midnight Stroller, and it tastes like espresso without all the acid. It's absolutely fabulous. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have to let somebody know later that she was just fine. Okay. Um, I missed something. Oh, Trish, you're amazing, honey. You. There are a lot of you that with something that happened in recent weeks, I, I don't think I would have been able to continue. I was just completely panicked and I had such an amazing support system with you guys that I got through it, I got over it, and I was able to move forward and stay positive. So that, you guys, I can't thank you enough for. I really can't. I'm giving you up. I've forgiven it all. You set me free. <laughs> that must be Chris. Oh, I am a big fan of Adele. Her music is just amazing. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger and free. Uh, just her music is so amazing. Oh, thank you, Karen. Well, please don't push her beyond her feeling of safety. Please don't. Because I know why she's feeling that way. And I completely understand. Oh, that's nothing, Debbie. <laughs> I was a professional vocalist for a very long time. And the car accident ended it. I was paralyzed for 18 months and they said I would never walk again. So, yep, that's a spirit. He got brushed and trimmed last night. So he is, and it's just their, their backside feathers that I trim. Okay, go ahead, honey. Said hello, I think I'm broken. And though I was only joking, you took me by surprise when you agreed. I was trying to be clever. For the life of me, I never would have guessed how far the simple truth would lead. One of my favorites. My daughter likes it when it's Black velvet in that little boy smile. Black velvet in that slow southern style. New religion that'll bring you to your knees. Black velvet, if you please. Oh, honey, I'm too old. <laughs> You ought to hear Sarah sing too, my youngest. Oh my goodness, her voice. In fact, there's live streams of her singing with me. Oh, I'm too old for their rules. They won't, mm -mm, nope. Oh, tell him thank you. Oh, that's awesome, Rosette. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch 
like me. I do not sound all that good today. I'm stuffy and I have allergies. And I can't remember what it was I sang that Marissa loved. Oh, don't cry, baby. Um, but Lazy, you can message me and I will give you an address. But you don't have to do that, sweetie. Kentucky rain keeps falling down. And up ahead there's uh, another town that I'll go walking through. My husband does uh, Elvis like... Oh, my God. I was waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee waltz. That one. Oh, <laughs> thank you, guys. And I will always love you. I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> I don't sing all the time because of the breathing thing. I need Sudafed. Oh, I would have to look it up, but I could probably do it. Because I don't remember which songs go in that one at the moment. Thank you. If I blew my nose, it would help, but that's not polite on camera. It was how I supported my kids for a great many years. And when I wasn't touring, I was working as a nurse for the U.S. Navy. So, oh, okay. Aw, thank you. I cut five albums, but they're not out there anymore. Oh. I can't. Oh, the melody. I know the, the one line, it's, you lift me up when, dee, 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 dee. I'm trying to remember the lyrics now. Josh Groban, another one of my favorite artists. Yes. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. It's beautiful. Oh, how sweet. Okay, hold on, guys. I have to go blow my nose because I can't do this otherwise. One of my favorites, though, is a really old gospel song. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. It's one of my all-time favorites. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, awesome. Did I see Nana of Seven Crafts come in here? I don't think so. 
I old gospel music is so amazing to me. It just always will be. I grew up going to church. I grew up understanding, having a belief system, whatever that belief system may be for you personally. And to me, it's just incredibly important. I think it keeps us structured and feeling safe. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so this is Butt Lazy's baby. Oh, so sweet. Oh, my goodness. He's such a cute baby. Oh, my goodness. I have a puppy problem. <laughs> oh, but lazy honey, your baby is so gorgeous. You know, I saw you suggested to me somewhere and I didn't realize it was you. If you want to send me a friend request, I'll accept, honey. I know that I usually keep my private and my YouTube life separate and Facebook life, but I there are a lot of you that I accept on there. Oh, the baby's name is Yoshi. How cute. You must like the Mario Brothers games. I believe. Oh my goodness. You got songs running through my head. She it but lazy is 18, I believe. How old is your baby, honey? Such a freaking cutie. Don't you live in Austria, sweetie? Okay. There's my address, honey. Oh, he's still a baby. Not like baby, baby, but four years old is young. So almost a Halloween puppy. <laughs> Amazing, I'd know that. I, I love Nintendo games. I do. I don't play them anymore, but I because I don't have a system anymore, but I love them. And I always loved the Mario Brothers games and the Donkey Kong games. Oh, how sweet, Allie. I thought so. I usually remember a lot of details, but I have days where with the fibro, my brain just goes, you're funny, lady. Oh, thank you so much, Denise. Thank you. Shelter and rescue animals are so important to me. I've only ever had two animals that were not rescues. And that was Chrissy and Frosty. And they were just very expensive rescues because they had some health issues at the pet store. And when I found out, I was not leaving them there. Yeah, Rosette, it's called brain fog. It's a common symptom to fibromyalgia. Only I was very blessed. It took me many, many, many years to develop it. Absolutely, Denise. I, I know you pretty darn well. Go for it. So... It took many years for me to develop the brain fog. Frog, brain fog. Yeah, I don't do the squirrel thing. Mm, no. Just not me. Oh, I know, Soulful, and I'm so proud of you guys. Rescuing. Ladybug was a rescue, and a shelter. I got her before she managed to get to a shelter. I don't think she would have had a chance if they detected her seizures. Spirit was a rescue after severe neglect because he has anxiety disorder. Um... Fluffers was rescued from the Maricopa County Shelter. Snowy was from the Humane Society. Spooky, I managed to rescue before he could get anywhere bad. So most of my animals in my life have been rescues. And I do not in any way regret any of it. My babies have kept me alive for a long time. Oh, uh, see, that's pretty much what was about to happen to Spooky when I got him. Chrissy and Frosty did come from a pet store because getting an American Eskimo in Arizona is incredibly difficult. When we met Frosty, she had a very severe lung infection. They did not know if she was going to make it. 
but I got her to a really good vet. I mean, we left the pet store and went straight to the vet. <clears throat> Chrissy had a shoulder deformity. They weren't sure that she would ever walk right. And I took her from the pet store straight to the vet. And so they were rescues. They were just a very expensive set of rescues. And I had received my inheritance from my dad. And what better way than to save two beautiful babies that needed somebody who knew about American Eskimo breeds in this horrible climate and who would love them heart and soul. So it worked out very well for everyone. Okay, time to get bug bug again because the banging. Oh, awesome, butt lazy. That's so cool. Okay, Allie. Love you, honey. Fluffers is laying in the hallway, so if I close my door, she'll freak. Okay, guys. I think we're going to be doing a bug holding marathon for a few minutes. Mm. Hi, Tilger. Shuggy seeing me have trouble moving, so naturally she comes up and lays against me. That's part of her, her service work is the comfort thing. Come here, Buck Buck. Come here. Buck Buck, come on. Come on, baby. Okay, come on. Okay. You can see how shaky and hesitant she is. Okay, baby. Okay. All right. It's okay. Mommy's got you. You want to talk to my friends? You want to talk to my friends? She says, no, I just want to shake. I'm scared, Mommy. Okay, baby. Okay. I know. I know, baby. I know. I know. You get comfy. Mommy, hold you. Yes, I so miss having one. Um, they didn't use it for my fibro. They used it for my spinal problems, and it was such a godsend. I just, it was lost in the move, so I don't have one anymore. Which makes me, oh my goodness, look at Denise's baby. That is a husky or esky mix, my love. And based on those eyes, I'd say that baby has some American Eskimo and some husky in it. Possibly some oid. Oh, my Lord, that baby is gorgeous. That is an Eskimo mix or a Samoyed mix. Let me see the front legs better. And I can tell you which one. That's how you can tell. It's the front legs and the size of the eyes. And those eyes are big like an Eskimo. Um, I think that's an Esky mix. I truly believe that's an Esky Husky mix. Mine was a wonderful little small portable one that had the sticky pads with the cords. They, oh my gosh, it was wonderful. Yeah, this was a small one. It wasn't a clunky one. Yes, that baby is, I would bet, American Eskimo and Husky mix. Because I can see the Eskimo eyes. And I see Husky body structure. Oh, these are Allie's babies. Oh my goodness, look at those puppies. I have a puppy issue. I really, truly do. I think they're the most wonderful things in the world. That That is a gorgeous, gorgeous puppy. Look at the face. That is most definitely a related breed or breed mix to my pups. Those eyes, that nose and facial structure, that is Eskimo through and through. But he's thicker like a Samoyed or a Husky. So I would guess he's a mix of either uh, Eskimo and Husky or Eskimo and Samoyed. But I would bet that that's what your baby is. That is so, your baby is so, oh my goodness. You have a baby that's related to my babies. Don't let them shave him too close. Does he have pink skin? If he has pink skin, he's Eskimo. A lot of Eskimo. And he can get skin cancer or sunburns. 
That's an Eskimo puppy. I can tell you right now, that's an Eskimo. Oh, just keep him brushed. I would only bathe him four times a year with pink skin or you can dry his skin out. But brush him once a week and he should not mat like that again. That's got an Eskimo in it. I know those eyes. Your baby looks so happy, Denise. So happy. <laughs> Yoshi said, nope, I'm out of here. Buggy found a spot where she feels comfortable, so. Okay, her nose is running, which means she's really scared. And that apparently scared my big guy, too. You should go, go boy. Yes, you are, boy. Yes, you go, baby. You have happy nose. Yes, you do. You're such a good girl, Yeah, Where's my choker? Her's got happy nose, too. Ladybug is saying, I'm freaked out, Mom. I'm freaking out. I don't like this. Okay. All right, guys. I think a little more stitching would be good. We have panicky babies. I'm all right, baby. I'm okay. She's looking back at me like that to see if I'm okay. Well, hi, Pasqua. I don't know who you are, but welcome. I'm very glad to have you. I think you should. I think normal skin color would be fine, but lazy. Okay, you have a pink skin baby. That means... Do not bathe him more than four times a year. Make sure you use conditioner on him and rinse it out. Um, and you'll keep him from getting itchy and dry and be much more comfortable. And beyond that, just brush him once a week and he won't mat up and get icky. I think you've got an esky. Hi, Sandy. He looks like a happy baby. That means he's got a good mommy. Oh, that's awesome. We usually are doing diamond painting on my channel. I recently got a beaded cross stitch and a bunch of the community and my friends wanted to know about the basics of cross stitching and beaded cross stitch. So that's what we're doing today. Just because we can. <laughs> No, I had a lot of requests for it. Oh, no, Sandy. Do you have more coming? We need to get you a diamond painting, girl. Mm. Or can you stitch or, or something while you're waiting for yours? This, I, I've been cross-stitching for almost as long as I've been alive. This one is a beaded one, although there's no crosses in it. So I don't know why they call it that. <laughs> But it's really beautiful. I just got this one and started it the other day. And the fox on it is not part of the picture. It's my needle minder. Slash cover minder. I don't think I need this right now. The lighting is okay. But at the beginning of the live stream, I explained the beginnings of stuff. and Oh, that would be wonderful, Sandy. Where do you live, honey? If you don't mind my asking, you don't have to answer if you're not comfortable with that. I know a lot of people don't give out that info. But we are really glad to have you, Pasqua. Really glad. Mostly this channel is diamond painting. I've just recently introduced the stitching this weekend. 
Oh, you're in the UK. Okay, I'll have to see if anybody I know from over there can get in touch with you. I know for me, if I don't have my diamond painting, my anxiety levels go through the roof. <sighs> nice. Nice countryside. We have a very sweet lady in the community that lives in Wales. That would be Cal Withington. We have um, quite a few people in Great Britain. I'll probably be here for a little bit, Denise. Yeah, Annie, that's who I was thinking is in Yorkshire. Thank you, Marissa. I knew she was in Great Britain. I have sticky friends in Scotland, Wales, and England. Oops. Do not want my thread tangled because then the bead won't lay flat. Okay, Soulful. Oh, I love Adele's music. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Scandy, can I go with you with the puppies, please? They can play in the water and I can sit and enjoy it. Be careful, butt lazy. Never go beyond your budget. That's number one. Because you'll regret it. Number two, buy things that strike your heart. Things that really mean something to you. And you'll always be happy with the crafts that you have. And yes, guys, I did get asked if I do the coloring. I do. I will not do it on my channel. It's got to bore the crud out of most people. And there are some fabulous channels out there that they specialize in the coloring. I don't want to take away from them. I mean, I might sit and talk to you guys if I get pneumonia this year again while I color, but it's not something I'm featuring on my channel. Okay, Amanda, it's okay. We didn't do anything major. Is everything all right? You said there was an emergency. Please do not forget about the sale on TK's Unique Diamond Painting Pens on Facebook. She's got a sale on her cover minders and her paracord pens. And the cover minders double as needle minders beautifully. Awesome, Athena. There you go, butt lazy. Oh, I miss that. Many years ago, I had my own craft room. The walls were lined with my quilting fabrics um, on one wall, and it was a big room. So one wall was all quilting fabrics. Another wall was all yarns and needles and stitch markers and things. And another wall was all cross stitch. I didn't know about diamond painting back then, and I don't think it existed that long ago. I've been around for a while. Just a, a little while. Awesome, Karen. Oh, no, Amanda, I hope that everything is okay. Yeah, that's how I feel about lazy. Yeah, Small things, okay, but the big stuff, yeah, no, thanks. I'm good. Although tomorrow I'm going to have to because there is a gift arising, arriving from one of my very close friends so that I can organize my diamond painting and stitching stuff. Paper crafting doesn't like me. My nails go through everything. Oh, that collection is so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda. <laughs> As long as you're okay and everybody is safe, that's that's golden. It works for me. 
Let me put you guys over here on the phone again. Sarah is Piglet. In, in my family, we all have Winnie the Pooh name. Sarah is Piglet. I'm Tigger. Nick is Rue. My oldest daughter is Pooh because she's my bear. Um, Snowy was Eeyore. And my dad was Owl. Awesome. Thank you. Mine are American Eskimos and they are service animals. And they range from 15 pounds to 80 pounds with my giant boy. When I say giant boy, I'm not exaggerating. He's huge. He's a big baby. I am a huge animal lover. I, I prefer them to most humans. Yeah, he's big. And there's not an ounce of fat on him. Not an ounce. Eskies usually do not come that big. He would not qualify for show because of his size. But he sure qualifies as an awesome sweetie. Oh, I love Border Collies. I used to have one. My Border Collie's name was Midnight. I was a kid, you guys. And I had a Border Collie Aussie mix who was named Little Guy, and I always called him Guy Guy. I was 16. What can we say? When I was a little girl, I had a cat named Meow Meow. So, I have name issues, I guess. Yeah, she... If there is something out there and Karen can't find it, I'd be shocked. Because typically, if it exists and it will work for diamond painting, that's the lady that can find it. Aww. Athena, I have to go look in a sec. Oh, Amanda, I'm so sorry, honey. I do care. Oh, no, Sandy. I lost Snowy and Frosty three and a half years ago, and I'm still not okay. And they were my first two Eskimos. Eskies are known for agility, but with our temperatures out here, I don't involve my animals in it. Oh, how cute, Trish. Oh, no, but lazy. You have an eight-pound baby. What kind? Yeah, agility out here would not be good. Up north, that would be fine, but I don't live up north. Kind of wish I did. Just can't afford to live on my own, or I would live up north. It's not that I would live on... Oh, Maltese. That's my my very, very closest friend in the world has a beautiful little Maltese named Ice Cream, and Ice Cream is her service baby. She's so flipping cute. During the summer, she's eight to nine pounds, and in the winter, she gets up to a whole whopping 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, yep, there are Esky babies. Spirit is right here. Ladybug is over here. And there's Chrissy, Fluffers is in the hallway, and my only mix, Spooky-Doo, is out with Nicholas somewhere. Oh, Sandy, I'm so sorry. God, that breaks my heart. My babies that I lost, I very recently had a custom made of them. Let me show you. On the right, the big one was Snowy. He was my first American Eskimo and my first service animal. And on the left is Frosty at when she was six months old. Those were my very first two service puppies. And that is Chrissy's adopted mommy and daddy. They raised her up from 13 weeks old. That means that your little Chihuahua is a good ESA. How cute, Sandy. 
I ever moment is my absolute. I don't get me wrong. I love Diamond Art Club. I do. I do. Still irritated over the one kit, but I love them. There is nothing in the world in diamond painting that I, I love more as far as the painting kits than ever moment. Everything from them has been an absolute joy. The one of Chrissy is half done and it's a 50 by 80. That's a 60 by 80. Me, but lazy. Squares are not any more difficult. Um, some people make it sound like it is. Once you get the first few in place in the right position, they will all lay nicely for you and they will push themselves into the right position. I promise you. And if you run into an issue where you're feeling uncomfortable about it, message me. I will get on video chat with you if you would like and I'll walk you through a few tips. But I did a video on some tips and tricks. Oh, Athena, how sweet. Yeah, it's squares take a few more minutes. Exactly, Marissa. They're a little more finicky. But once you get used to them, it's no harder than doing a round. You're very welcome, Sandy. I'm Amber Marie on Facebook. Or you can contact me through uh, Aussie Girls and my Facebook group that we have started that is... Aussie Girl Stitches slash Diamond Painting and Diamond Painting with Eskies. We'd more than love to have you. No, Amanda, you don't. Oh. Yeah, squares, I didn't, I was afraid of them until Lisa Swan sent me Revealing Woman from Diamond Art Club. And then I did Snowy and Frosty and realized that it became my favorite. Working on Chrissy has been so calming and joyful because she's still here with me. And every time I pull out that diamond painting, she comes and lays next to me. Because I asked her if she would please try to be there so she could do it with me. And she understands. That's okay, though, butt lazy. Just don't work yourself up over it. Oh, seven grandbabies. Oh, my goodness. I, I lost my first grandbaby. And so I only have one that is my own grandchild. A lot of friends, kids call me Nana, but he calls me grandmama. Usually it comes out as grandmom. <laughs> but yeah, I do love square paintings and every moment is my all time favorite diamond painting company. And all of my accessories come from Karen Doss which is KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pens on Facebook. I, oh my goodness, the quality of what she puts out and she finds stuff that I've never seen anywhere. She even found a pen that when I get the money, we can order it that has five little American Eskimos on it. I'm so anxious. Oh, Athena, I'm so glad you saved her. Yes, and I am but lazy's adopted Nana. You bet I am. Oh, Sandy, I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. Yeah, Pasqua, her products are so awesome. This minder that I'm using, the little fox, is actually a cover main minder, and it works as a needle minder because it's the same quality magnet. And I've never had any of her anything break or come apart. It just doesn't happen. She uses a proprietary glue that is wow. I can't wait to get that pen. Um, this is one of my Karen pens. My one of my Wolfies. And it's, believe it or not, I didn't know how comfortable it would be on the ridges. I just thought, oh, it's beautiful. I wish I could get that. And I got it for my birthday from she and Kelly Ed. Um, but it is, it's, it's very comfortable. Very comfortable. I'm hoping that someday she will start manufacturing acrylic pens. But in the meantime, mine come from BFF pens. Because the size of them and the quality is really good.
Oh, no. That poor baby. Yeah, there. everything that I have ever seen from Karen has been phenomenal. Oh, but Sandy, I got to tell you, the quality of them is wow. I know that the postage is expensive, but it's really worth it. Like I said, I've never had anything from her that was not amazing. And I own a lot of Karen stuff. All but five minders that I have that were gifts from close friends come from her. And I have a good collection of minders and I'm going to add to it. All of my pens, except the acrylics, are from her. Um, one that was made by uh, Alexis herself that she sent to me. Athena, they're 25 bucks. Seriously. 25 bucks. So if you get in that position, yeah, it would be very good for your hands. I have really bad arthritis, and they are just such a godsend. They're wonderful, but lazy. My stuff from Karen is my very favorite accessories for all of my diamond painting and my, my needle minders. Yeah, but eventually, Athena, eventually we'll get you one. Get one there somehow. You never know with this community. I'm telling you, lady. I'm telling you. I cannot afford mine at all. They were all gifts from a couple of friends. Guys, I have zero income. My son financially supports us. And so my diamond painting stuff has almost completely been gifts. And I'm very, very blessed. Hello, Orchid. Awesome. Oh, that's good, Athena. That was an amazing tip that Jennifer had. Wow. I don't have any foam cores. I've never gotten paintings on them. I got one, and the foam core was only half an inch wide. Yes. Karen Doss is KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pens. It, it just everything from her is amazing. Oh, you're so blessed, Sandy. Oh, Amanda, thank you. I, I don't know that I do. I, I don't know that I do. But I feel just very, very loved and very, very grateful to have people that care so much. Very grateful. And now I finally get to get have the privilege of going back to having medical care. So the channel could get more active. If I'm feeling well, I can do more for you guys in videos and progress on paintings and stitching. And you guys are why I do this. I do it to bring people a sense of safety and happiness and support and love. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay. So I was telling you about my sweet friend who has the Maltese, Sandy. I think it was Sandy. This is her Maltese ice cream. Let me turn the lighting down on this so you can see better. I always forget that. Okay. This is Miss Ice Cream. Oh, Athena, I hope it comes soon. I'm praying that this internist can take care of it for me because we already know what medication works for me. Oh, Amanda, thank you, sweetie. But Lazy is from Austria, Orchid. She's an 18-year-old young woman who lives in Austria. Isn't she gorgeous? And she's such a sweetie. When we video chat at night, I get to see her, and she looks up at me like, you again? 
But my sweetie Michelle calls me Auntie Amber with her, and I just love that. I can't wait to finally get to see them in person and give them hugs and kisses next year. Hi, my girl. Hello, gorgeous. She is 18. I don't know how old um, Ice Cream is. I think she's like three. Okay, my puppies, Denise, have a special diet because they're American Eskimos. And your baby is obviously a Nordic breed. And I would say a lot of Eskimo. Um, what mine will eat that has always agreed with them and is very affordable is going to shock you guys. It because it's not an expensive food, but I supplement their diet and I'll explain how. They get Kibbles and Bits Bistro. I do not like the standard formula. It doesn't have enough protein. The Bistro mix has enough protein for a, a dry dog food. They have ice water at all times and it is purified ice water because um, they can develop kidney stones otherwise from tap water. Oh, thank you, Sandy. And then every day they receive a little bit of meat. I don't do raw diet. I just, I just don't. They receive a little bit of meat, vegetables, and a couple of times a week they get some white rice. That's so they have enough nutrients and protein in their diet to keep them safe and healthy. And the vets that I've gone to have all said that They've never seen animals that are healthier than mine as far as their diet. And they only get lean meats, chicken, turkey, uh, very lean beef once in a while. The only time they get pork is if they're a little bit constipated because pork will help loosen them up. Um, and they get fish, salmon, and tuna. It's super good for them. Nordic breeds need fish oils in their diet, and it's fresh fish that you cook that's good for them. You did. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Island girl. So yeah, they do have a slightly specialized diet, but it's just a couple, you know, three or four bites a day of added that they need. It doesn't require a whole lot. Yep, and they love steamed broccoli. Oh, my goodness. And it's so good for them. Um, peas are good for them if they like it. Um, oh, my goodness. If they have diarrhea or an upset stomach, a teaspoon of canned pumpkin is super good for them. Oh, I knew what you meant. Okay, Karen, I hope that you feel better, honey. No, you don't sleep very much. Oh, your Swarovski is beautiful, Orchid. Oh, no, Sandy. Mwah, back at you. For those of you who don't know, we're going to be doing an upcoming uh, collaboration for chronic illness. And for Karen and I, that means fibromyalgia. And fibromyalgia comes with very, very bad chronic insomnia usually for she and I it does yep and they're super good for them my puppies cannot go near corn if Chrissy eats one single corn kernel she throws up so nope no corn oh orchid I'm so sorry sweetie maybe you and butt lazy could get together if you ever get to go oh Pasqua we, in my last live stream two days ago, we were talking about what we were doing, and I showed a bunch of images, one of which for fiber we're going to have done by Evermoment as a custom. And there are other chronic illnesses that Jill Graff, which is Boots' Diamond Painting Mama, found for us so that everybody can get a custom made that wants to join us. It's going to be a month or so down the road, probably more like two or three before we start it. Oh, you're very welcome, Denise. 
but we want to bring awareness to the chronic illnesses. Um, I never had said anything about Jennifer's chronic illness, but she did make it known that she suffers with chronic fatigue syndrome. So there are a lot of us out there in this, in this community who deal with chronic illness and very painful chronic illness. And so I just think it is an awesome idea for us to all get to be supportive of one another. No, I don't yet. Um, Karen's Creations does have the prices, but we've not ordered it yet. So we don't even have a code on that painting yet. Neither of us can order anything until after the first of the month. No, I do not do raw meat. I, I do rare beef and well-cooked chicken, fish, and um, any little bit of pork that they get and well-cooked turkey. But I do very rare beef for them, but I want to make sure any bacteria is dead before my puppies get it. Well, you know, at least there's an upside, Amanda. I'm so sorry, honey. Yeah, I, my daughter, my oldest daughter's diabetic. I know. My grandma was too. Sorry, guys. But we did find that ribbon image Jill did for diabetes. Sure. You guys, Island Girl does not show her face on her videos, and I wish she would. She's stunningly beautiful. And I do mean stunning. Oh, that's very cool. This is where Butt Lazy is at on her anime coloring page. Yeah, they do, but they're really good. Salmon are good for the puppies to eat. Tuna, mackerel, anything that's high in omega fatty acids. You're... She is awesome. I wish she'd show her face. I have seen her face. She's gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. She just doesn't think so. Oh, I wish I looked that good. Yeah, guys, I'm seriously half blind. <laughs> I got to turn that back up so I can see. Okay, and that way I can monitor chat better. Yes, you're right, but lazy. But I'm telling you, she's amazing inside. Pretty is as pretty does definitely applies to this woman. And, but her features, physical outward features are wow. Oh, awesome. I love you, Marissa, honey. Have a great day, please. Um, You can do boneless, skinless, or bone on, but do not give them the bones. I'm sure you know that. I don't give them pork bones either. I do give them beef bones. And I don't feed them fresh lamb because it's not good for Nordic breeds. Um, venison foods are very good for them. I'm so sorry, Island Girl. I didn't mean to make you blush. I'm just telling you the way it is. Yeah, I will give them beef and lamb bones because it's so hard. Lamb bone is the hardest bone that we know of. And it's very difficult for any dog to snap it. It does not splinter and um, it keeps their teeth really nice. <laughs> well, you are a gorgeous lady. Inside and out lady. Oh, that's not good, butt lazy. My babies. Every once in a while. I sit on a bone. <laughs> but I only give them very hard non-splintering bones to clean their teeth.
Yeah. I've heard that deer horn is a good idea. Um, I've never given it to my pups. I don't have access to it. And at the stores, it's way expensive. But the meat is super good for them. Oh, no. Amanda, poor baby. Why is Yoshi scared? I wonder why Karina is making videos. She's been so ill. She should be resting. But I will watch because she's a very, very sweet person. Let me get this in position here. Okay. Let's try to get a couple more beads on here. So that I'm actually being productive. Oh, he scared someone will steal his bone. Yeah, but you don't want him snapping at anybody. That's for certain. Uh-oh. Poor Grace. Oh, poor babies, Amanda. Yeah, too much fat in their diets would be very bad then. I'm making sure I'm not putting beads on where I'm not supposed to, color-wise. Uh, yeah, that hurts, trust me. Try breaking up a fight between your two males, and, and yeah, I got caught in the middle. Okay, I'm still in the right color. Awesome. I was just getting carried away. Ooh, hold on a second, Orchid, I'll show you. I haven't gotten a whole lot done. Because yesterday was a tough day, but it's looking good. And the Precocia beads have serious... Look at the shine on those. And these brown ones are matte, and they still catch light. I love that company. Absolutely love it. To close a couple things out here because I can't see. Okay. Yeah, I definitely, this company's kits are really high quality. I know they cost a little bit more than getting them off of AliExpress, but the quality of the beads is very consistent. Very consistent. I have only run into one bead that I wouldn't have used, and that's because it was a little thinner than the others. But all the holes are consistent size. I've not had a single bead that I could not get the needle through. Not one. Yeah, mine was off of Amazon. Um, the store name on Amazon is Beads Creative. Maybe they have other ways to get to them if you don't have access to Amazon. Oh, that's awesome, Amanda. Yeah, I'm really, really care careful because commercial dog food doesn't give dogs everything that they actually should have. It gives them what they need to survive, but it doesn't give them that little extra bit that I think they need, and my vets have all agreed. Oh, you're very lucky, Sandy. I've heard nightmare stories about witch diamond paintings. And the sad thing is they have a five panel one that I really love. Then again, there's my, I like giant diamond paintings, crazy thing. Here's my Jennifer. Oh, do I? I didn't even know that. Is she? Yeah. Okay. Time of day. Yeah. That'd be normal. I was worried something might be wrong. I didn't even know I did it. I just do what I do. 
come up here. Awesome. Wish has a uh, duvet cover, which is a cover you can slip your comforter into that has white wolves on it. I want it. Yeah, I do too, Amanda. <laughs> nice, Sandy. Well, I'm glad it's still looking good, but lazy. Um, I wouldn't add butter or salt, but you could cook it in a little bit of chicken broth or beef broth. Um you know, mixed with water to give it a little more flavor. Canines really don't need more salt than they get in commercial dog foods. It has a lot of salt. And if your baby ever has a very upset stomach and won't eat much of anything, um, scrambled eggs with no seasoning or and or white rice. I take and mix it together for them and it settles down their upset stomach. Okay, we need how many more? One, two, three, four of this color before we switch. And I got more than I needed figures. There we go. With this, with this beaded kit, I honestly can say that I can just pull out the number of beads that I need and it's going to be just fine which has made this very nice. <gasps> oh my goodness, Orchid, thank you. I sure will, Trish. Yeah, the colors are actually pretty clear. There's two that are fairly close but with good lighting, I can see them no problem. Ooh, that's an awesome idea, Amanda. I only have one puppy that likes ice. And that's big guy. Snowy was an ice nut. Every night at bedtime, he had a tumbler cup. And I'd fill it with ice and he'd sit and lick the ice until he was ready to go to bed. And watch Scooby-Doo cartoons. That's an awesome idea. You too, Jamie. I will see you again later, honey. I hope. You guys, being with you, I've gotten like 20 beads on. Thank you. Yesterday, I just could not focus. By the end of the night, hopefully I will have this row done. I'm just not up to sitting up working on Chrissy's diamond painting, which is killing me because that's what I want to do. Because it's Chrissy. But that's okay. That's why many of us do different crafts because we need more than one thing to do, you know? Oh, Amanda, that's cute. Oh, thank you, butt lazy. It's a good day today. Physically, it's a painful day, but, you know, I have this thing that if the physical pain sucks that bad, find something that's going to bring me a little joy to help with the anxiety and depression through it. And that's diamond painting, stitching. Of course, the puppies are number one on that list, and you guys. Oh, you're welcome, Denise. Honey, you can message me if you have any other questions. I've had Eskimos for 18 years. 
What about Oreos, honey? I don't eat or Oreos. <laughs> don't like them. Never did, even as a child. I like the... They came out with one last year, I think it was, that is uh, mint filling. Almost like a grasshopper cookie. And, you know, I did like those. The problem is I eat the filling and tend to leave most of the cookies. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome tip, though, but lazy. But for me, it is just chocolate, chocolate. Helps. I try to eat a little piece of chocolate or more every night before I go to bed, and it seems to help me to calm down and sleep better. I don't know why, but it does. I think it's because of the fact that there is something in chocolate that lights up the center of the brain that deals with love and happiness and romance. Well, we finished that color. Let's get the next one and get a few of those on. Because that would be number seven. And that is another matte bead in a beautiful gold color, like an antique gold like sand. And that's funny because that's probably what that path is supposed to be is dirt and sand. <gasps> nice, Amanda. <coughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have a, a big project problem at all. Nope. Not even a little. <laughs> okay. So we're going quite far over before we do another dark bead. But the trays that we all hate to use in our diamond paintings because they don't have a funnel work really good for this. And I would, if you didn't have five puppies up on top of you, you could probably set up a few beads in every color on whatever surface you're working on. Aww. Jennifer, that's cute. You do? I like my big, big, huge ones with the funnels. That's my preferred. The little ones are kind of a pain in my butt for diamond painting. <laughs> I love good dark chocolate. I also love really high quality white chocolate, which only comes from Ohio. My favorite one comes from Ohio. And milk chocolate, ooh, we are best friends. <laughs> we could try to get you a husband's iced piece of chocolate. Your husband is tall, lady. <laughs> Oh, I was like, wow. Yeah, you're a little bit of a thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think I only have a little bit left. Yours, Jennifer. He looks so tall in the picture. Yeah, that's tall. <laughs> I'm little. I'm like 5'6 now. I used to be 5'7. Spinal deterioration will take away your height. See, you're a tiny girl. But I know somebody... 
that you and I both love very dearly, who is much tinier than that, you would feel tall to her. Oh, yummy orchid. Oh. Pasqua, you're four foot nine. Oh, you gotta be so cute. The chocolate? I doubt it. I don't think you're vertically challenged. But I don't think Michelle is either. And she's even tinier than Pasqua. I think you guys are just cute. I was, before the injury, I was considered tall for a woman of my generation. Because the average height for a woman born in my particular decade was five foot four inches tall. So I was considered to be very tall. You're a small bean. Aw. Go get the munchkin. Give her a kiss for me, honey. Her daughter is such a doll. She's so cute. Give foot ninja. Okay. Uh, but lazy, I would have to look that up in... in Feet and inches, honey. Denise, you're the same height my grandma was. There is my partner in crime. There is Miss Aussie girl. I mentioned our Facebook group earlier. That right there, Aussie girl, is who we have the joint group. She's a super sweet lady. Super sweet. Um... And she, of course, lives in Australia, hence the name Aussie Girl. And she is a mother of three children with autism and ADHD. She is a powerhouse of a mom, let me tell you. She's a powerhouse of a mom. I would not have the emotional strength to be the mom that she is. She takes them to school and picks them up every day or gets them on a bus or picks them up. I'm not sure which because I don't remember at the moment, but she takes such good care of her children. I'm sure that we all do or have, but to have three children with the special needs that her children have, you've got to have a hell of a strong heart. You truly do. Get this out of the way. That would help. Well, I see what you mean about my pinky orchid, and I never thought about it. I'm pushing up on the thread to give it tension. I just never thought about it or realized I did it. <laughs> oh, no. That's okay, Aussie girl. I'll watch what's going on. I am currently five foot six inches tall. I used to be five foot seven until all of the disc degeneration in my spine occurred. They say I will probably drop to about five foot five and a half at the end of it. Ouch. Yeah, this is a sharp needle. It's not like working with a tapestry needle, so I have to be a little more careful. My finger is going to look like a pincushion, but that's okay. I do that when I'm quilting, too. Oh, don't give up, Aussie girl. You're amazing, honey. Six foot five, my good lord. 
That's the Jolly Green Giant. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Ice Cream, Michelle's baby, <laughs> is, li is licking Michelle to death because Ice Cream has a peanut butter addiction. Huge peanut butter addiction. And when we're talking, we don't say the words. We say PB, so she doesn't know what we're talking about. And um, <laughs> apparently Michelle has a piece of peanut butter fudge that she's eating. I'm glad she's eating. Um, and <laughs> she's licking Michelle to death. <laughs> yeah, Ozzy girl, you are a tall lady. I did not realize that. I Sorry, Michelle. So she's eating PB fudge and um, Miss Ice Cream wants it. <laughs> she's like, gimme. Ice Cream is so cute. Wow, Debbie, that's a big height difference. <laughs> You're five foot eight, Debbie. You're a, that's a nice height. That really is. But there aren't a whole lot of tall men in my state for some reason. Six, six. Yeah, y'all you, you got a couple giants around. <laughs> Nick's bed frame would work for them because it looks like it was built for the Jolly Green Giant. It's like four feet down from the ceiling. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, but lazy. There you go. There's that's a contrast, honey. Oh, yeah, but I guess it's not much different than if it's the other way, a tall man and a short woman. But I think that societally we're typically brought up that tall men and shorter women are what is accepted. And so it closes our minds a little bit. Oh, is she okay, Jennifer? Right, 11 year olds. Just wait till next year, honey. Oh, no, Denise. Aw, that's cute, bud, lazy. Oh, boy. I would love to get rain as long as there's no thunder to upset Ladybug. Uh, do you mean the, the beaded cross stitch, sweetie? Because if that's what you mean, yeah, I finally got it. Down to a comfortable point. The world is ending. Oh, no. Right? <laughs> I don't know. We're still trying to figure that out. No, silly. Okay, what are you asking me if I figured out, honey? Trying to think of what I didn't understand. Phoenix has been trying to figure out what rain is since February. <gasps> no, we didn't. Okay, not the stitching. My doctor's appointment is set, so I know she's not getting on me about that. Transportation is set up for it. Michelle, I'm lost, lady.
Yep, laughing at me. That tells me that's probably Chris. <laughs> oh, I hope they get it fixed soon, Ozzy. No, it is you. Okay. Usually the emoji war is Chris. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's a beautiful festival, but they need to not do the canon thing. <laughs> now she's sending me Chris's favorite emoji or er, sticker to send me. Oh, thank goodness they're not going to use it again. I'm betting you are having fun, you little goof. <laughs> oh, we'll be getting off here pretty soon, you guys, because I know you all have other things to do with your day besides sit and listen to me yammer on and give Michelle a hard time because you know I'm going to give her a freaking hard time now because she's sending me farting dots or farting dog stickers. And that's usually Chris's signature with me. <laughs> and giving her a hard time is one of my great joys in life. Truly is. <laughs> oh, okay. The farting dog is from Chris. <laughs> Stinker. Listen, knucklehead. You better behave. Because <laughs> I'm going to call on video chat and then you're going to be sitting there and you're finally going to have to talk to me in real life. With your voice. As long as you remember to speak English, we're good. Chris has a special language. See. Right, Debbie? Oh, no, Orchid. Awesome, Orchid. I love your videos of the area you live in. They're beautiful. Makes it a little easier to deal with the fact that we don't have a lot of grass here. Or trees. We have a whole bunch of pokey cacti, though. <laughs> Don't do that yet, sweetie. Give that one to Chris. <laughs> I want to give him a hard time. It's fine. Chris is one of Michelle's knuckleheads. He's awesome, though. He, he and George and Jean are just wonderful people. Chocolate's your weakness? Yeah, it's mine, too. Right next to American Eskimo puppies. <laughs> I'll try not to, Michelle. Sorry, guys, I'm, com I'm conversing with you as well as with her. There you go, Orchid. Go get him. Get that down. Bud. I would. Tell him no, honey. You must have eaten it. <laughs> okay, sweetie. And you're fine. It's no different than if you were in the chat. I love that you're lurking. Ouch. 
<laughs> be very, very quiet. Be hunting chocolate. <laughs> Elmo Fudd. <laughs> That's as close to a, an imitation of it I can do. Kind of scary. Oops, that did not go as far as I would have liked. I got by a single thread. That'll make the beads hit differently. Oh, what did I see? Those sound good. <sighs> so it's probably nighttime for many of you, or evening. It's mid-afternoon here, just past midday. So it's 1.30 in the afternoon here. I know that that means Jennifer is probably getting ready to go get dinner ready or eat her husband's cooking. Right? Me too, Island Girl. <laughs> Athena, you're killing me. <laughs> you are killing me. Don't need that. Yes, Arizona and Pacific time are the same time right now. But come fall, we will back we will be back to being listed as mountain standard. Um, because we don't change our clocks. The rest of you do, unless you live in Hawaii. <clears throat> back to the office. Uh oh. Oh, evening clients. Well, you're doing a really good job at it because you're making me crack out. Oh, that would be awesome, Debbie. I, I just don't see the point in the time zone changing now. It's We're not to where our primary source of transit is, you know, railroad. We, we don't need that anymore. I mean, we still use it. We still need it. But now we have trucks that go cross country. We have planes. They didn't have any of that when they invented this time zone thing. They did it for the sake of the, the train companies. What the heck do we need it for now? Daylight savings times, at least here, wouldn't make any sense on West Coast. So I don't get it. East Coast, I can kind of understand. Here, we really don't need it. And we don't have it. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you with me for one more smoke and sign off. And see if I can finish up this whole row tonight. I'm sure that Michelle will keep me on track working my butt off. Oh, see, I don't, I don't mind that. Winter is so beautiful to me because summer, it's overly sunny. You get sunburns. It's too hot. At least here, it's miserably hot. Um, summer's just not my favorite time of year. And it's probably because we don't have snow. But at least not in Phoenix. Two and a half hours from here? Oh, my God, does it snow. Michelle would love it if she were still able to ski like she used to. Oh, yeah. This lady's crazy. In a good way, but she's crazy. Um, because Snow Bowl is up there, and it's one of the most famous ski resorts in the U.S., from what I'm told. I do not do anything that involves sliding down a mountain, or falling, if I can avoid it. Of course, unless I'm in my own hallway, apparently. Then I go kaboom. Welcome to falling on your butt. Well, it was my hip, but still. Same doggone principle. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. The door freaking hates me. It's 
said on it. Then it jumps off again. Yep. Yeah, because we just can't. It's too much. Okay. I would imagine so. My legal mother, the woman who adopted me, the one we don't have nice things to say about, um, she had the same kind of allergy to the sun. And they told her that it was a legitimate allergy. Of course, then again, she was not much darker than my puppies are. Yep, gizmo. Right, 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 right. You should have heard us doing Elmer Fudd. Because <laughs> she was sending me Elmer Fudd statements. Uh, okay, no, Michelle. Uh, no, it's my live stream. I'm at the end of it. So it was Athena Mack. She's such a cutie. I'm I'm lucky. We have some really sweet people in the community. Really, really sweet. They have good hearts and they're all over the world. So it's kind of nice that we have this nowadays. When we were kids, <laughs> pen pal was as good as it got. Take forever for that fucking letter to get there. Oh yeah. And we were always just waiting, watching for the mailman, just like I do for diamond paintings. But still. But they can get here faster. Yeah, they get here a lot better nowadays. Oops, my hair is going every which way. Ooh, I didn't even think of the fact that it could be part of lupus, Debbie. She goes, we hunting bonnies now. <laughs> the other oh, that's awesome, Island Girl. Yay, Jennifer. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Joyce had a documented allergy to sunlight. And she didn't have the rare genetic condition that causes it. She just, she was so pale that five minutes in the sun and she looked like a lobster with blisters. Literally. Literally. We took her on a fishing trip with our with us once. We ended up at the ER. It was not good. My dad and I. No more driving. She can visit till her clients come. But I'll be off here by then. Because we do not need to do four and six hour live streams. Oh, that would be awesome, Glitter Angels. There we go, Jennifer. You work so hard, honey, and you have such a good heart. Jennifer has Amazon banging at my door tomorrow so that I can organize my stuff. <laughs> and I would never have told who it was, but she said so in the last stream. So mm, not my fault. Oh, that's okay. So it won't be tomorrow. You need to rest. Oh, you didn't diamond paint last night. I'm telling you guys I'm half blind. Oh, Athena, honey. God, that's awful. Do you have lupus, sweetie? That's what I was just thinking, Debbie, that if she doesn't have a diagnosis, maybe they need to check her because of the symptoms with her hands and the pain and then the blistering. Maybe you should get tested, sweetie. Awesome. Are you going to do a video? Are you going to do a live stream? You could do an extra live stream. Athena, I would advise it. I really would strongly advise it. Lupus is not something to mess with. You need to be checked. And, and if you do have it, you need the treatment. <clears throat> the progression of lupus untreated is horrible. Victoria's Moon is a diamond painting company based in the UK. And they sent almost all of the YouTube creators 
I wouldn't doubt it, Athena. It strikes around that age, um, typically. But <clears throat> they sent almost all of the YouTube diamond painters, the channel creators, a free diamond painting of their choice to unbox and review on our channels. Yes, I did. A little over two weeks ago. Mine is huge. I think it's the biggest one of anybody so far. And I was also the first one to get to unbox them. And I was, oh my goodness, privileged because I'm a little channel. Oh my goodness, Jennifer. No, don't get scared, Athena. Don't. It's very treatable. Very treatable. It's, I don't think there's a cure for it, much like fibromyalgia, but they can treat the symptoms and help you a lot. Don't be afraid because they know so much more about how to treat lupus than they do fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue. Thank you. Yes, I did. Oh, no, it's a website. It's Victoria's Moon, all one word, dot C-O dot U-K. They are really very good. Several of the kits that went out in shipping got damaged very badly. Mine is an 80 by 80. It's massive. The canvas is crystal clear. I've had zero problems with that adhesive, and it has been through the ringer with puppies jumping on it. And Oh, Lord. And yet I've had no rivers, no bubbles. My I have a square and my diamonds are gorgeous. Oh, Athena. Exactly, Jennifer. There's just not a lot for some conditions like chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia that they can do much for, except try to control the symptoms. Um, but lupus is something they can actually do something for. I knew a woman that had lupus and because of good treatment and catching it within the first few years <clears throat> of the symptoms starting, she had, she's still alive and has still very good quality of life. Jennifer also has chronic fatigue. And when we do our uh, chronic illness or invisible illness awareness diamond painting, we are offering images to everybody that they can have made as customs by moment or other companies that do customs. If you don't like squares, if you're going to do a square custom, I really strongly advise every moment on AliExpress. Um, but give yourself enough time to get it in time. And we're all going to do those that are, are deciding to jump in with us. And I'm praying that Jennifer does to bring more awareness to chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, are going to do the diamond paintings that fit their illness. Oh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. And, and if you have a channel that you make videos on, Karen's Creations, and I would love for you guys to join in in making videos to bring awareness to your particular chronic illness. It, this stuff deserves more recognition and more money raised for research We've talked about, do we want to do this as some type of fundraiser for each of the individual research organizations, but I don't want to step on the DP Athon's toes. I just don't. This would be something completely separate, and it would be strictly links to those research foundation foundations to raise money for them directly. The problem with doing it that way is we'll never know how much money we raised. Right, Jennifer? If not, Athena, I'm guessing that Jennifer and I can find a way to talk to the right people and raise enough money to let you be included because I know that we can't, Michelle can't afford it either, and I desperately want to get her a diamond painting for spina bifida or kidney failure. She deserves that. She does. I don't see why we couldn't try to raise enough funds to get both of you diamond paintings so you can be included. I really can't afford to get one myself, but that's 
pretty much going to be a special thing, a very special thing. We raised money for our Michelle. I'm sure that we can raise money for you and Michelle both because we have a very generous community and we have time to raise the funds. What do you think of that idea, Jennifer? You think we can get a few people to jump in and help out to make sure these two ladies get to get included for their illnesses? You, I'm pretty sure that by then you can get some testing done. We can try. Awesome, Jennifer, thank you. We have such a good community, you guys. We really have a very generous, very loving, supportive community overall. Ooh, that's an idea, actually. I have a bunch of crap in my garage I could get rid of. <laughs> but I don't expect the customs to be much more than right around $35 to $40, depending on what size where that illness is appropriate. So it shouldn't be too bad. But I know for a fact that our Michelle cannot. Everything she has goes to her survival and her medication. And this community came together and got her a custom of ice cream and a couple of DACs. And then people were so generous, they sent her beautiful things as well and have kept her going to where she can, because she uses it for physical and emotional therapy. So it's important. I know, Athena, it's the same way for you. But if you like squares, I strongly advise doing them on Evermoment. They really do back their products. They give a great product. Um, and there are some wonderful companies out there that will do customs of rounds. But everything I know of is on AliExpress. So give yourself a month between order and receipt. So make sure that we get them ordered early enough. I know you do, Athena. That we get them ordered early enough that we can do this. And it's a couple months out before we're going to tackle this. Okay, Pasqua. Keep in touch with me and let me know. But our sweet little Moses, she she needs a little extra something. She gets mad at me for it too. <laughs> she gives me a bunch of crap for it. And I'm like, tough, we love you. Get over it. And I really want her involved in it. You know, even what most people don't know about her is even with all of her illness and disabilities, for her entire life because of spina bifida, she has worked. That's a good idea, Jennifer, on Etsy or Facebook, honey. You absolutely could. Athena, you could seriously sell things that you make. Um, throughout her adult life, she has worked with other children with serious disabilities She's really super intelligent. She was a sign language translator. Um, she's more, more than most people would have ever thought that she could be. She's so much more than people ever thought she could be. And she's just phenomenal. Then we need to try on Etsy, wherever, maybe eBay. Hi, Jamie. But yeah, the stuff you, especially those amigurumi dolls that you make. Oh my gosh. I honestly do not know. I think that they charge a fee per listing. But that one from Nightmare Before Christmas that you did, there are so many fans of that out there. Oh my goodness.
she is lurking, honey. She is lurking. That's awesome. I had no idea that your sister is a sign language interpreter. But yeah, that's what Michelle did. And she worked with other children, or as she became an adult, children with illnesses similar to hers. You should offer to make more of those because, wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome, Jennifer. I know very little ASL. Um, but when I was a kid, I knew quite a lot. You just, it's one of those, if you don't use it, you lose it. But she truly is just this strong-minded, amazing person that people had no clue. Oh, I bet that's pretty, Athena. That's perfect, Jennifer. <clears throat> She's so much more than people realize. She really, truly is so much more than people realize. Well, Glitter Angels post it in Aussie Girls in my group, please, so that we can see. Exactly, Jennifer. You can do this, Athena. You know you're good at that. And you absolutely can sell some items and get the diamond paintings that you want and need. Awesome. I love hearing that you're going to try. But there's lots of time. Oh, Jamie, I did not realize that that was, I knew you were disabled, but I did not realize that that's what it was. But you know, the thing is that we are not, those of us who have disabilities, we are not handicapped. We are handy capable as long as we choose to be. We may lose the ability to do some things, but we can always come up with others. Oh, goodness. You're not going to end up there, lady. <clears throat> like me, I lost the ability to go riding horses and motorcycles and running around the countryside. But I found other things. I turned to my stitching and that led me to learning how to knit and how and how to quilt and diamond paint. You know, it you just have to find other ways. It's not an easy path. I won't say it is because it isn't. Awesome. Thank you, Glitter Angels. When I go inside, I'll grab it and show before I get off here. I just think that, you know, we all have things that we are really good at. And we have, you are very blessed to be loved, honey. We all have the ability to find new ways to things. If we lose the ability to do one thing, we can find something else. Like my sweet friend that can no longer stitch. She now diamond paints. Stitchers, our minds are already structured toward the patterns. So diamond painting is a very nice transition. Wow. You're amazing at it. I cannot do amigurumi. 
very well. So I don't even try now. I tried once and went, yeah, no. Michelle makes beautiful crocheted blankets. They're beautiful. And it's coming into fall. You could probably sell some of those lap blankets. And those work up quickly. Yeah, I just, it doesn't, I can't, my hands. My hands just don't do it. That's why I don't crochet much. It hurts this wrist so badly that I just, I don't. And I've been crocheting since I was five. That was my first, what I refer to as fiber arts because you can customize everything so much. <clears throat> A lot of people consider it a craft. I think it's just amazing. We've all found ways to cope with our illnesses. For me, it's about the anxiety and the pain and the clinical depression. It helps me to deal with it. Diamond painting is huge for that. I love you too, Jamie. We have a, a fabulous group of people, a fabulous group of people. Okay, folks. Oh, yeah, it's really good for vets with people with knitting. Diamond painting, too. I don't need to drink a mesquite leaf. Okay, you guys. I have to try and get this heavy door open. So I can fit you in. Yay. Sorry about the banging you. Oh, let me sit you down for a sec. Well, I heard that snap. That's never a good thing. Yeah, I have coffee problems, you guys. I have big time coffee issues. All right, let's go back in our little space. That would be awesome, Athena. Oh, <laughs> Spirit's rubbing his eye. He's so cute. Okay, you guys. I have a Diet Coke issue and a coffee issue. Serious ones. Okay, I have a couple of messages. Michelle says, that is awesome, Jennifer, about your sister. And Jill is at the eye doctor, which is why she's not in here with us. I just love that we are multi-craft tool. Yes, we have puppies back now. Yes, I. you have an esky addiction? Me or the puppies? Because <laughs> I have a serious esky addiction. <laughs> if I was able to, I would save them all. Every last one of them. But I'd save every animal on the planet. Aww. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys to hold on for a second if you want me to stay on any longer. Because I need to use the restroom. We've been on here for over three hours. You can hang on one minute for me, please.
sorry, everybody. That's the one side effect to doing these long live streams is that I do have to use the restroom. Oh, Athena, you're so sweet. The reason I do so many live streams is because I feel like I'm able to reach you guys more personally instead of just a video and comments. This way I can converse with you and talk with you. Yep, more coffee. <laughs> and let you guys know that I am here and I do care. And I think being reachable is important. I really do. Just like Jennifer, you know, she's only able to do live with us on Friday because she has a crazy schedule. She has a full-time job helping people. She has a beautiful daughter, a lovely husband, and of course she has Zoe Zoom Zoom. So this is a very busy lady, crazy busy, but she still finds time to connect with us personally. And I think that that's amazing. This is being so weird. Okay. There we are. No, that's okay, honey. You've got a seven-month-old baby taken care of. It's good that you're here, Ashley. Thank you. Your connection with us, Jennifer, is way beyond YouTube. It's very personal, very loving. Anytime that we need you, you manage to be there. You just... Me personally, I don't know what I'd do without you. Don't even get me started on Ashley. Because, yeah. She is so generous and sweet in the community and in life. And she's a good person. These are so scratched up. That's why I don't wear them anymore. But I misplaced my cheapy broken reading glasses. <laughs> That's me for you. I do that. We'll put a few more beads in. Uh-oh. Poor Ashley. Oh, I know, honey, but sometimes certain points in our lives, those extras are phenomenally important. And it's been, this year has been that time in my life where I was feeling very alone and very sad and, <laughs> right, Ashley? <laughs> and this community pulled me out of that a lot. I... I've made some very amazing lifelong friends. And I've always been one to self-isolate ever since my accident. So not always, but you know, for the last 19 years, I've been very self-isolated. Yeah, but I really need prescription lenses because I'm more than nearsighted. I'm also, um, I have some distance issues. Right. She's just saying because she has baby fever right now. And she's like, just shoot me before I'm, I do this. But that's partly because of your age, honey. No, that's okay, Athena. We all get baby fever at some point. Yes, I do, sweetheart. Oh, I know. Thankfully, when I'm not online, I, the magnifier has been really helpful. It's just, just right in my face, and you guys wouldn't be able to see me, which would work for me. But every time I do that, I get yelled at by somebody or other. Quick, I ring up your face. You know how it is. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Go get some sleep, Orchid. We're getting off here in a few minutes. I can't stay up till midnight. Uh-uh. Every time I do, I'm tired for the next few days. My body just does not do that. But I'm usually up very early in the summertime, so that's why. I did not have my playpen removed. I had um, my tubes removed. Because every time I got pregnant, I developed issues like, you know, cervical cancer. <laughs> that was not fun. I joked with my OBGYN, who's now retired, sadly, that, well, now that we figured out what causes this, let's uh, prevent it, please, permanently. Oh, that's lucky. I know it's almost your birthday. Oh, you're going to have venison. Yummy. I think Christy would eat you to take it away from you. In fact, I think they all would. It's only an hour and happy birthday. And she'll be like, oh, 30. <laughs> Orchid is so cute. She really, really is. I know. Nope, 25. She's staying at 25. There we go. Me, I, with my age, I know most women go, nope, I'm 29 again. No, because I wasn't supposed to live past 35. To me, every number is a blessing. So, I just look at each number as a gift. I can't believe you will be either. Because you look like you're like 21, you little goof. Almost missed that one. You're not sure? Oh, my goodness. No, I am 49. And very blessed to have had those years. Wow, you're still so young, Jamie. Oh, there you go, Orchid. I think that we frequently just kind of blow it off. I actually caught myself not long ago going, I'm almost 50. And then I went, ah, no, not yet. It's not near my birthday. Let it go. Wait till next year to say that. Sorry, I tend to hang it upside down to untwist my thread on all my stitching. That's the easiest way to do it. Well, my husband is 55 and hates it. <laughs> He's closer to 56. I'm just like, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> He's letting you know your age. There you go. 
Be nice, Athena's husband. Remind her that she looks like she's 22. <laughs> oh yeah my husband kept calling telling me i was getting old and i'm like uh you're six and a half years older than i am jackass if i'm getting old you're already there there was a time he he had very good Good qualities. I'm just sorry that he has let those go. But it is what it is. So just move on and remember the good things. Good. He better. He had better or you need to kick his butt. Crochet him into an amigurumi. Oh, I love you, Jennifer. Oh, goodness. Oh, we have Ashley pictures. Oh, the, okay. Yeah, the baby's adorable, but not adorable enough for me to want to have one around. <laughs> Because they turn into toddlers and then tweens. I can deal with teenagers, but tweens, are They are difficult. Do you want me to show how cute she is? Because she's not my child. So I'm very cautious about children's images on the internet. That's what I'm doing. Okay, sweetie. I just, like I said, I'm hyper cautious about it. And this is why I say Ashley looks so doggone young. She really does. She's truly stunningly beautiful. Look at those pretty faces. That's a beautiful child. Still don't want one around at the moment. Ashley's so pretty. <laughs> the little face. Okay, there we go. Here's the little face. She does look like she could be yours. <laughs> you go for it, Athena. I'm good without spit up and diapers. <laughs> I know that sounds mean, but I've been there, done that. I've reached a point in my life where I'm like, no, no more. No, no. Wait till I'm old and like children more again because they make me feel young. Right now, they just tire me out. No, I forgot, sweetie. Let me go look. I gotta put those further up on my base at the moment. I that, That's my issue at the moment. My grandson, seriously, uh-oh, Ashley, <laughs> my grandson seriously wore my patience out when he was here. Uh, who is in front of spirit? Well, that's Chrissy over there. Ladybug is right there. Isn't she gorgeous? She doesn't think so. She's absolutely beautiful. Like crazy beautiful. No joke. I have to go back to get to the right spot. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Okay. So here is Glitter Angel's finished painting. That is so cute. You are a sweetheart. And you have a beautiful heart, too. <gasps> Athena's babies. Oh, my goodness. Look at those little faces. Yeah, she has huge, bright blue eyes.
And these are really awesome amigurumi that Athena does. This is what I was talking about. Jack Skellington. Look at those. And this mermaid tail is so cute. Oh yeah, look at her with Tiny Alpha. Or look at him with Tiny Alpha. This is so cool. They are right up against each other. And Chrissy loves him. Chrissy absolutely loves him. And he adores her. That's from the first moment that they met. Ladybug, if she is asleep and anybody touches her, she'll roar at you. And she'll try and snap at the other pups. So I have to be very careful about her getting touched when she's sleeping. Fluffers just doesn't like big puppies too close to her. It scares her. But Chrissy and, and Spirit, yeah, they're buddies. They're seriously close. It's so sweet. So, so sweet. They love each other very much. And she looks out for him because he's got a paw that gives him trouble. A back paw. And makes it to where he limps a lot. And she stays really close to him and watches over him all the time. She's a truly sweet little alpha. And Snowy and Frosty were both natural alphas. And they taught her incredibly well how to care for her pack. I try to give her a goodie and Ashley has seen this personally. Sweet dreams, Orchid. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Heidi. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Island Girl, I'm so sorry. Um, what I was saying is actually has seen where I will go to give the puppies their treats. And let me preface this with when she was a baby. And when Snowy and Frosty were alive, their whole lives, they would not eat or take their treat until she did. And so she was raised with very loving parents that were pack leaders and they really cared. And she will not take a treat until the other puppies have theirs. No matter how many times I try to give her a turn to go first, she refuses. Sweet dreams, honey. But it makes her a loving pack leader. She definitely takes care of her, her pack members. And I've even tried to give her a bite of my food before I take a bite. She won't do it. She's just very, very sweet and loving and attentive. Oh, wait a minute. Am I already to that dark one? Yes, I am. Guys, I got to grab a, one bead of the other color. I didn't realize I had to put that many beads on. You guys are awesome at keeping me on. Oh, Fluky does. Awesome. There we go. Oh, well, thank you for coming past. That we'll see you many, many, many times. No, I haven't, Athena. I don't even watch that show. I never did. I think I saw a few minutes of it and I went, eh, it's just not for me. I really like forensics and crime dramas. Are you? <laughs> yep, I will definitely get this road done today, you guys. Yay!
I really don't watch much TV or anything. Dur except during fall season when my shows like Criminal Minds and the all of the NCISs are new season. Then I watch TV from 7 to 10 p.m. almost every night. Wow. I'm sure that you guys are just about ready to go do your thing for the evenings and nights. She has to be an alien. I doubt it. If you hear Sarah sing, you might think the same thing. Good night, Jamie. So I'm going to get off here and let you guys go. I kind of need to eat something today before I get yelled at. So. Plus, I'm starting to shake, which tells me I need to eat. I love you all very, very much. And I really appreciate you being here. And I will see you in a day or two. I don't know, you know, what my mood is from day to day for live streams. <laughs> and I, I know Ashley needs to go live again, but I think she's not doing it this week because she's watching a seven-month-old. And that takes up a lot of time. But I hope that you guys all have a great rest of your day. There I go. I'm getting yelled at. <laughs> I have trouble eating breakfast, honey. I do. My stomach just doesn't do it. Usually I would have eaten by now, but uh, I really didn't feel good. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you. And I will talk to you all again really, really soon. Could be tomorrow. Could be the next day. Could be the day after. I don't know. It depends on what's going on. Oh, you too, honey. The baby zoodle noodle. It's not her kid. I love you guys. Have a great evening. Uh, come not too long from now, I'm hoping to be on the phone with Michelle, hassling her, giving her a hard time. <laughs> I love you all so much. You guys have fun, and thank you for staying so long. Bye. Bye, odd but nice. I don't even think I said hi. I'm so sorry, honey. Hi and bye, sweetie.